South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And we are joined here today with Manny because we're doing the one and only Spotlight Stream. We're off games just coming out into the industry. Uh, yeah. Manny, thank you for joining us. And uh, I, I should probably yeah. mention we're doing Dice Throne Adventure today. Yeah. Super stoked to do this. We showed off uh, Dice Throne on our Gauntlet stream before, uh, but this is a little bit of a twist on that, if you will. Huh? See what I did there? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, but first and foremost, we'd like to say thank you to Dice Throne Adventures for sponsoring this stream and all of this week's streams, uh, and definitely go check it out now. Uh, Josh, I think, is going to put that link into chat. He's working on it. It'll be there in just a second. Uh, but in the meantime, this is going to be my favorite part of the show where I throw it over to Anne to do what she does best and ask all the questions. Do so. the cheesy ball. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, it's, like it's so lame, but I kick, giggle every time. Okay, Manny, so I am completely new to the Dice Throne universe. So talk to me a little bit about, uh, for somebody who's new... I guess, you, I mean, I know how you're involved in this project, but how are you involved in this project? Right. So um, <clears throat> myself and my friend, Nate Chatelier, we designed Dice Throne a few years ago. And uh, very early on, Nate had wanted to make a cooperative version of Dice Throne. And so this has been brewing for quite a quite a while, actually, I like, this version of the game. I like very much how and, you have excluded yourself from the cooperative version. You were very much, Nate wanted to do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is at, at, at the core, I am not a cooperative player. Fair enough. And I admit that, that maybe sounds negative, but um, I love dueling games. I love direct combat fighting. And so when Nate first brought it up, I was like, oh, that sounds fun. And um, and one of the biggest topics was, well, nothing in Dice Throne can be excluded. Like, no heroes can be invalidated. No abilities can be invalidated. And he was all like, we got this. <laughs> and and so, and Nate was, Nate's really the, the, the brains behind this co-op and the AI system you're about to play, okay. the way the game is built. Okay. Um, we designed the games together, but I give all credit to him for this game being as sharp as i think it is it's 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 quite good in my opinion um, but i'm biased so that's that doesn't really matter <laughs> what um, was the original inspiration for the original dice throne well dice throne started when nate and i got laid off from our day job so we were both worked at a game, video game company making games apps and we got laid off and we had been making a game an app and that app kind of got kicked in the teeth by a publisher and we were like, why don't we just make a board game? And so the middle of August in 2016, we were like, okay, let's just do that. And so six months later, we ran our Kickstarter for season one, or less than six months. It was August. We ran it in January. So like five months later, we ran the first Kickstarter. That's crazy. Was this your first game design uh, outside of apps? This is, yes. Outside of video games and app development, this is our first board game. What was it like to transition from app development to a board game, changing between those mediums? Um, partly it was refreshing because app development takes a lot more than two people typically. And board games, we, we were lucky in that uh, for Dice Throne 1, Nate and I designed the game and the heroes together, and then I did all the art and graphic design. Okay. And so we had it kind of covered. We had all our bases covered. And then... Um, whereas app development, it would take a ridiculous amount of time for two people to crush through an entire game. What was the inspiration for the theme? I know you said that you were talking about how you guys had figured out the characters and whatnot. Right. So the initially, the, the app that we had worked on used Yahtzee as a fighting mechanic. Okay. And so we were like, well, that works on a tabletop. Let's battle each other with Yahtzee. And we just kind of embraced the idea that um, Yahtzee isn't really a game. I mean, if you want to boil it down to what it isn't, <laughs> Yahtzee is just a 
it's a hopeful thing of rolling dice. So we're like, well, can we ter- turn Yahtzee into a combat mechanic? And uh, we both love, uh, like, Nate comes from Magic, and he played a lot of Dota. Um, I play a lot of tabletop skirmish war games. Okay. Um, and so we kind of took all the things we love from other games, and we kind of, like, smushed them into one game. So sometimes um, when you do that, it, always, it, it tends to be a little clunky. How did you get that to mm-hmm. work synergistically? I think part of it was is we made the game for ourselves. So at the end of the day, if the game wasn't fun for us, and if we were like, ah, we'll play this a couple times, but we're going to ditch it afterwards, yeah. we would have can we would have canceled it. We wouldn't have done it because we literally were like, we don't have time to play big games. We don't have time to play Gloomhaven. We don't have time to play some of these amazing games out there right. that they're just too consuming. Yeah. So we're like, we're going to make a game for us first. And if we don't want to play this a thousand times, then we have failed as game designers because this needs to be the best game on my shelf. You and I can have... legitimately say it is my favorite game. You kind of have to need to want to play it a thousand times over considering how many times you have to play test the game before you get it to market, yeah. right? Right. Like right now, I want to be sitting at your table playing because I love playing this game so <laughs> stupid much that I'm... <laughs> that it, it bums, I like want to set up a hero on my table so, so that I could be like the fourth player and then... <laughs> And then just put a cam on it or something like that, so I can actually. Manny, if you want to set up a fourth character, I will throw you up on the board. <laughs> Real talk, we do it all the time. So if you have a fourth character and you want to set no, it no, up, no, no, we're good. You we're sure? Good. I'm gonna be a coach. Okay. I'm gonna be a coach. We're, we're so we're still team gunslinger. Yes. Okay. 100%. All right, that works. So how did you feel after the success of the initial Kickstarter? Oh, I mean, I, I think probably a lot of people they'll throw throw around things like, "Oh, we were blown away." But legitimately, we were. I mean, we were just two guys who had never made a board game before. So Nate was reflecting the other day on the very first update we posted two days into the campaign that said, is this real life? (laughs) Question mark, question mark, exclamation. And then we posted, we're blown away. We're 112% funded. And we had raised $16,000 at that point. That's fantastic. And yeah, we went on to make 182 or something like that over the course of the campaign. But it was so like honestly we didn't realize how lucky we were in that moment that we made a game that people res that resonated with people and that we had started building a community and so it was it was a pretty right right place right time and a little bit of luck in there but um we we were definitely blown away by the response so let me ask you if i was a backer of the initial campaign Uh um what kinds of things changes developments may you have made i mean i know that this is a, this particular game is a standalone expansion but what changes mm-hmm. am i going to be looking for between this and the stand i mean it's a co-op it's a whole brand new game but i, I yeah you i know that josh was talking about a complete visual redesign especially between season one and season two like what was it for the season one yep. season two characters what was going on there well we nate and i started out by ourselves created our own company and then we ended up partnering with roxley games yeah and Roxley made Santorini, Brass, Brass, Lancashire, Brass, Brass Birmingham, Steve McCrally. Their game quality is through the roof. Mm-hmm. And we met Gavin Brown of Roxley, owner, basically. And uh, we we struck up a friendship and a partnership. And we shared our vision. And I, we, I very distinctly remember when he was like, you don't need me and my company. <laughs> you guys have an awesome game and you could totally do this on your own. And... We were like, but we have a 10-year plan, and we need other people. We need awesome people. And when Gavin came in, he was all like, the first thing we want to do is we need to make this game look as awesome as the art is. And he, he praised the art quite a bit. And I was like, well, people don't want to see a whole bunch of art. They just want to get to the rules and play the game. And that's what I wanted. Silly, honestly. you game designer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on me for wanting... To get right to the rules. To the mechanisms and, and everything uh, that makes yes. everything run. I didn't want the art to get in the way of the rules <laughs> of the game. Of the game itself. Yeah. And so, but it was so cool. It was, I appreciated that he believed in the art and the visuals and what we had. And his objective wasn't to change the thing and make Rather it a different enhance. game. But he wanted to make it better. He wanted to enhance it. And so we ended up partnering with Roxley. And now that's why you have the trifold boards in front of you why the game looks really as awesome as it does because it's it's uh gavin is a is literally a wizard i saw someone just right in here it was drake yes 
talking about how he's fantastic. Yeah, that was one of the first compliments when we started the stream was talking about how the background art was just absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So that was very cool. So mm -hmm. talk to me too, just being a newbie. So there was season one of Dice Throne and season two of yep. Dice Throne. What was the difference? Mm -hmm. So the difference is just more heroes. Just, I mean, I assume okay. you've played Soul Calibur. No. No, you ever played Street Fighter? Yes. <laughs> okay. There you go. So this game is is kind of like a board game Street Fighter, where season one we had six heroes, and then season two we added eight more. Okay. And so the roster grew, and it gave you more options for your one on one duels, for two v two, free for alls, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, and on top of it, we were feeding the eventual co-op. So now we're going to be up to 16 heroes that you can choose from and iterate with when you're playing this co-op. Wow. And that's going to create a massive amount of variable play options. That was one of the things <laughs> um, I think that I was trying to edge at when we were talking about the character development earlier on. I had noticed just by the three of the characters that we have in front of us that they're very different characters. So Matt, yep. when we, we're going to get into it, Matt's going to be playing the samurai. Uh, we're Team Gunslinger. I'm, I'm really <laughs> yeah. I'm you're, making you're the really Wii thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Josh <laughs> is a shadow thief. And these are like three very distinctly different characters. Where did the idea for yes. that come from? Like they you're not like you're not really set in one world, and that looks like Zeus, but I'm right. not quite sure if it is. Uh, yes, it's not Zeus. <laughs> Ish. So the um, the little bit of the narrative is the there's a Mad King who is in charge of this Dice Throne tournament, and he invites different warriors and heroes from different times, places, dimensions, anywhere. So he basically scours time and space to find challengers to take his throne from him. And he invites all these people to come and fight him. And no one has beat him in a thousand years. And so that's why you can have gunslingers and samurais and barbarians and shadow thieves and stuff like that. Gotcha. So which of these characters is your favorite? Regular barbarian from season one is my favorite, hands down. I was, I, that was a confident, yeah, quick, was, precise, right bam kind it, of answer. I have probably played 3,000 games with that hero, and I have not grown tired of it. Why are you partial to the Barbarian? I love... I, I'm the I'm the Leroy in the group that wants to jump in the middle <laughs> of a giant battle. Dragons. Just going to be real honest. So I'm that guy who wants to smash and crush things and bash things. And um, Part of it is the... Uh, I like the idea of taking a simple hero with simple rules and abilities and figuring out how to play that into more complex heroes with more complex interactions. I think you so and that Josh whole notion of bringing friends. a sword to a gunfight or bringing a hammer to a fight with a, with a, you know robots and stuff. That that makes sense. I like how you're looking for maximizing the simple the simple. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's very cool. Yeah, yes. Yeah, as, as I want to echo that comment that I think that uh, you two just became best friends. And I hope you have lots of room for activities. Awesome. <laughs> so we are challenging. So what is the storyline here for the co-op? Okay. So let's walk through it. Okay. So there's okay. a, the heroes have decided they don't want to fight against each other anymore. They need to team up together to take down the Mad King. He's had his reign for too long. And so these disparate heroes are going to come together. But it's not going to be so easy because the Mad King's world is not just a road you walk down to get to his his palace, his you know his throne room. Okay. Instead, you're going to be hopping through portals. So every tile on the board is basically a different portal into a different location. So you start out on the Crimson Sands, and then you don't know what portal you're going to jump through. It could be a poison bog. It could be a mountain of salt. It could be a pensive pool. It could be any number of things. This sounds terrible. Um, and that, <laughs> yes. And then as you go through each one, good things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. The Mad King doesn't really care. He likes he likes to give you good things and you know smack you around. So the pile of the mountain of salt is when I made Matt cry, <laughs> right? That's the pile of salt. Yes. 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 Okay. So Annie Oakley, the gunslinger, has got to carry these two. Through yep. these portals. You got it. How do we play, <laughs> Manny? All right. So first you're going to each... So you've already got set up your heroes. Yeah. You should have shuffled your decks. You, have, you should have two CP each. Um, 
okay. then you have your hero with all your tokens and dice. Oh, um, so each of you is... Yep, go for it. I just want to show off the combat power disc because I think that it's so neat. Back to talking combat about point. like the trifold board. Right, right. I just really like the components right off the bat. It's got yeah, the, the combat spin. points are excellent. Or CP. You'll, you'll see it referred on your card to CP. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Um, so now, each of you is going to roll your d20 to decide who goes first. Do I have one of those? I, I literally uh, have given you this die 900 times. No, the, the combat point. Yeah, it was it should have been Oh, one. it fell off. Oh, there. it fell off there. Okay. Just like I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should, you you should have all have health. So we got to pay attention to who rolls the first d20. I rolled an 8. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, it was on 20 for a second and it rolled a 2. <laughs> 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 That's a 16. What's a 16? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you okay, got... so who rolled high? Oh, well, Matt rolled a 2. It wasn't me. It was Anne. Okay. And Josh rolled an 8. And I rolled a 16. Okay. Awesome. And yes, okay. Frank, so... uh, it does have its own green screen. It's our card cam, and we'll be using it throughout the night. Oh, yes. Hi. Nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Okay, so now the the player who goes first, you can move any number of spaces on the board until you either hit an undiscovered tile, which is what they all are currently, <laughs> or you arrive on a tile that has a, a, a party member engaged in battle. Okay. So we first player can move, and they're just going to uncover the first tile. I mean, this is good for your analysis paralysis, Sam. <laughs> At least it makes my choices real simple. So I'm just yes. moving my standy. So, Mandy, give yep. you a fair warning. Your, yes. your teammate here has the worst AP of anyone in this group. They don't call it an analysis paralysis for nothing. Uh, you're going to need Perfect. the tile you just okay. flipped on. So now you're going to flip that tile. I was waiting for my instructions, Joshua. Thank you very much. So hand it yep. over to Matt. <laughs> the, you want me to hand the green yeah, tile it's over to Matt? Look wonderful. This, this one's, uh, you it's know, it's not as invisible as I thought it would be. So this is a square tile. It's not a circle, I promise. Uh, it's just got very green edges. That's kind of fun. Okay. So then, Anne, we're going to do what it says. So okay. you're going to notice on the top right, it says boss plus one CP. So you're going to adjust the boss's CP dial by one. So he starts off with 10. So we're going to yes, go up to 11. This level. Turn it up yep. to 11. Turn it up to 11. Yeah. So now we're going to do what the card says. It says, says spawn a level one or alternatively spawn a level two and gain a treasure. Ooh, I like so now you have a things. choice. Do you want to go risky, or do you want to play it a little safer? Yeah, no, you go big or go home, and you get the shiny things. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should take advantage of your coach here. <laughs> I, I, I endorse the greed. Go for it. Oh, oh yeah. no. So, hey, go ahead and put that top back where it was supposed to be. Okay, so now first thing you do, because it said you gain a treasure, yeah. Now you guys are all going to roll your d20s. So you're looting right now. I hope you get a one. Matt, and then it'll please. be it'll be all over. What am I doing with that? Uh, you're going to show it off on the board. I rolled 20! No oh, Matt way. rolled a 20? All right, wait, wait. Whoa. Yeah, he can keep his 20. Awesome. So now we have to close out the bat because Matt... High five, buddy. I did it. You done did it. Yeah, I'm you so did. proud of myself. Okay, so now you're going to check against the loot chart. Okay. So that's green, not invisible. Bye, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> so about, you got a twenty. I did. And so that means you're going. There is a blue question mark, right? Yes. There so is. that blue question mark means you're going to draw one of the um, blue cards off the loot pile, but you don't look at it. So this is the loot pile, and if you want to yep. throw that quickly in, you've got the common, the rare, epic, yep. and legendary, which is always orange. Yeah. Yes. So I got. So now you're gonna pull. You're gonna pull a blue. I got a rare. But you yep. don't look at it. Off the yep. top, right? Just not randomly. Yep. Just off the top. There you go, buddy. And then you're you're gonna leave it right by your hero deck, and that is considered unidentified loot, and that will come into play at the end when you go shopping with Rosella. So you're just picking random stuff up as you go. You don't. You yep. don't even. You saw her shiny, and he picked it up. It's gonna be good. I don't yep. know. So then, Anne, what'd you roll? Uh, thirteen. Okay, so then you check on the grid for what that means. What does that do, mean, Matt? Do, 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 do. So at 13, that's this one here, one. One? Yep. Okay. One gold. Oh, okay. Give me money. Oh. So you you guys collectively share the gold. Aw. So 
<laughs> so if you guys, let's say you raise 30 gold, you get find 30 gold, you all will have 30 gold when you go shopping. Oh, cool. And that's to kind of, that's to kind of encourage that working together over, haha, it's my gold. Is this Nathan's idea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know Anne was all of it like, that's my gold. That's exactly where I was with that. No, we honestly, we all wanted it because I, I've played enough of these games where they're not really co-op. They're kind of like, <laughs> they're like, we're playing in the same room, but I don't care about you. I rolled a five, Matt. Oh, I mean, a five is a one CP. There you go. All right. So it's not a bad thing. For, wait, right? wait, 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 wait. Let's back this up again. What? All three of us got treasures. And the yes. only one of us that did anything for the party as a whole is me. I got a blue card. <laughs> Just co-op in. <Anne>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Collectively acquired, independently spent. Yeah, I can tell you exactly where it's independently getting spent. <laughs> On cables. <laughs> All right. All right. So that was the so, fun part. Now, all right. So now you are going to draw because you agreed to take the the worst monster. So now you're going to draw a level 2. This is where you regret your decision. Nope. Never no regrets. So, you know, first monster out the book. Bum, 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 bum. All right. It's going to be a So then just yep. With a elf. So nice. with a elf here. That doesn't look so, so give scary. us a, a little bit of a breakdown of what we're seeing here on this card, man. Right. So you're going to notice at the top it says with a elf, he's a level 2 minion. He has 14 health, so you're going to take one of the health dials. Okay. And then he has set it to 14. And then he has 2 CP. Now, CP only comes into play with minions if a hero were to reduce the CP count. So, like, Josh's Shadow Thief can steal a CP with his pickpocket. So, if that was the case, then you would put a 1 CP counter on him. You guys should have, like, uh, some random tokens there. Yep. Um, so, then you would mark the fact that he has 1 CP left. And that matters um, in the sense of, uh, like, if someone knocked him down and he had no CP, that would that would matter. But we'll get to that later if it comes up. And I could only steal so, so much CP from him, apparently, right? Uh, yeah, you, you could steal two CP from him, total. Okay. So I can't farm CP. <laughs> no, you wouldn't really want to either, because it's, it's, the game isn't going to last very long if you just farm CP all day. All right, so then on the side, you'll see it says small straight and large straight. Those are his role types. Um, and down below his image, there's a thing that says role type objective. Okay. Or AI role objective. Okay, so that will come into play here in a moment when he attacks you, Anne. Wait, okay. I, I so, thought this was co-op. Why am I getting hit? Because <laughs> you're there. We're not there yet. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so you, you stumbled into this new territory, and there's a wither elf there trying to fight you. So, now you can set that down with the health dial next to it. All right. Okay. And then, Anne, you are going to start a normal dice thrown turn. Okay. Which means the first thing that happens is upkeep. And that would be like if you were poisoned or burned or had some kind of effect on you that said deal with it during upkeep. But you don't right now. Okay. So, we're going to move past that to income. Now, you would gain, you draw one, you gain one CP. Okay. And you draw one card. Gain one CP. Draw yep. one card. Um, yeah, so you, know you should what? have yep. five cards. You know what? I should have five cards? Well, when you draw this one, yeah. I didn't yep. have you start, any. You start with four. Well, one, two, three, four. I didn't know that. Also, we didn't set mm -hmm. my health dial either. Uh, it should be at 20. Uh, well, it's at... It it's, should be... It's in between, it should be at 20. It's in between 46 and 35, so that's not really, <laughs> I think... Oh, I had 34. I just thought that I was like... Super robust or something, you know. <laughs> okay, so no. twenty yeah. health. Health, yeah. Health is determined by uh, thirty-five minus the number of players. Five minus five per player. Gotcha. Oh. So you guys would be at twenty health to start. Okay. Will future hero releases come with a mini figure or a player token for the campaign? Right. For each time you play through the session, it'll be twenty health. Okay. So now you've gotten your CP. Now you have a main phase. Okay. Okay. That's where you can play blue cards out of your hand or that say main phase on them, or you can upgrade your hero. All right. And this is co-op, so it doesn't matter if these people see my cards? Nope. No, by all means, let your teammates see because, you know, they can help you out, make suggestions. Um, 
You might find yourself needing one of their cards. You know, they might want to play it to help you. So you want me to go through the cards that you have in your hand? Please and thank you, Michael. All right, so we've got Deadeye here. So, uh, okay. Manny, you want to give that us a little bit? That would be an upgrade bit? card. Okay. So that's an upgrade card to one of the abilities on the board. And it adds another ability to your board. Enforcer becomes another option. So the Deadeye that's currently on my board is if I rolled all of the target icons? Yep, sixes in that case, because they're bullseyes. Inflict a knockdown, deal six undefendable damage, and this would go up to deal eight undefendable damage. Right, and it also gives you the Correct. enforcer ability on top of that, too. So if you can get three yep. bullseyes instead of four, Ooh. you can use that. Ooh. Correct. Okay. So it, it helps to mitigate failed rolls is really what the point of it is. you know. Plus the extra boost on the upgrade. So dual is the upgraded defense. So your defense is kind of subtle in that you're going to dual the uh, the opponent. You each roll one die, and then if your roll is equal or greater in the case of the upgrade, then you can either choose to deal damage back or prevent half. Okay. All right, then we got Wanted. Wanted, wanted. Mm-hmm, dead or alive. <laughs> so that one is pretty simple. You're just going to do what it says. If you played that, you would inflict a bounty on a chosen opponent, what? and all minions are considered opponents. Which begs the question, mm -hmm. what's bounty? It's a quicker picture. So but you'll have a leaflet next to your hero yes. that will have all of your status effects. Oh, okay. And so they'll, there's like a helper helper line of text at the top of bounty, but then there's the actual text. In short, it means you add one damage to your opponent and you gain one CP when you attack them. Okay. All right, then we got Quick Draw. McGraw. Two, so mm -hmm. it's an upgrade card there. Right, so Quick Draw upgrades your passive. Now, your passive, you have it's in the bottom left corner of your board. Mm -hmm. And your passive basically says that you gain an, you gave it, you gain a reload during your upkeep of every turn. So technically, during your upkeep phase, you should have drawn, gained one reload and put it on your hero. So should and just I put it on your board? So should I grab that now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, and then the passive has a secondary ability to it. It says that if you roll a one or two, you can re-roll that die one time. Oh, I like that. And oh. so we'll get to that when you we'll roll your reload. And then finally, double up. So this allows you to just draw two cards. Perfect. Yes. Does the hand limit change? Is it drawn? Uh, you have to end your turn with six or fewer. So if you wanted to get sneaky during, you know, Josh's turn, you could play double up because it's an instant action. And then you could be above your hand all the way until the conclusion of your next turn. Uh -huh. Look at you. You've played this before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> a couple times. A couple times. So I feel like if we're early game, it's wiser to do a player upgrade. Yeah, I think you can. And the, the beauty of this is you can kind of choose how you want to play your upgrades and which ones you feel are going to be most beneficial. But both of your upgrades um, were good. Uh, it's it's all about resources. You're, you're never going to have all the resources to do everything. So you're going to have to make choices. Uh, there's a CP cost on the side, which we really didn't talk about. So that's how much CP it costs to play each card. Uh, correct, yes. So this is where your CP matters. So you only have three CP to spend, spend on actions. And then I get one... Each thing? Yep. Each turn, yes. I think that... I, I know the other one is... I know that the dual two is three CP, which kind of makes me think, like, the more expensive it is, the better it is. But I kind of like that Deadeye and Enforcer upgrade. Sounds good. Go for it. Coach says pick this one. All right, so you're going to upgrade <laughs> that. That's actually... I, I like that one. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, so you're going to make yourself a little bit more powerful with Deadeye too, and then you get the backup plan of three bullseyes there. So you just place that over the mark, and you're good. And then yep. reduce your CP by however much that was. Okay. Yes. Yep. And then probably you're done with this main phase. And then you have two of these during the game where you can sell cards, upgrade. Um, I forgot to mention for you as a new first-time player, you can sell cards during this main phase. And when oh. you sell cards, you put any number of cards in your discard pile, okay. and then you get one CP per card. Oh, okay. So in this case, right now, you don't need to do that. Right. It's, it's not crucial. Okay. That's good to know, though. But then you're probably going to exit your main phase, and you are going to attack or go into the roll, rolling phases. Okay. So take up to three. 
Do you see this imaginary line? You keep your little <laughs> sausage fingers on that side of it. You leave my dice alone. You're going to get your bad juju all over them. <laughs> all right. Shh, we're not going to have map rules today. Take up to three rolls to activate an ability. Okay, so I'm Yahtzee style rolling all five of these die. Yep, you're all in right now. You're fighting this wither elf. Go for it. Big bucks, no whammies. I believe in you, Anne. <laughs> all right, so that's a lot of ones right there. So you got one bullseye. <laughs> uh, you got... Four bullets. Yep, and then four bullets. Two ones and two threes. So my four bullets for the revolver do four damage. Is that... I'm reading this right? Yep. Correct. So you can keep that. So now this is this is where you get to play that Yahtzee, right? You get to push... How, how, how hard do you push your luck, right? Are you going to chase after the sixes and keep the one and go big, or do you want to play it safe and just keep the bullets? So what do you get if you roll five bullets, Ann? Five, uh, five damage. So it's all less than the eight undefendable damage of the dead eye. Yeah, but... Right. Are you really going to get You'll also that? notice on your leaflet there is a dice key. It'll show you what the odds of each dice face are. Look at that. That's that handy. So Church Nerd says go for it, man. So there are 50% bullets, um, two out of six, which is one out of three, which is 33%. Yeah, one out of three. Yeah, I can math uh, for dash. Yep. And one six for bullseye. That's kind of tough odds. You're probably to not going to get the bull. If you had like a, a two of them on your opening roll, you they, know. You have one there. Yeah, but that's you, not. Maybe you get one more and two bullets and you can do that one. The bounty, the bounty hunter. So inflict bounty, then deal one undefendable damage, and bounty is receive one damage. For me, like I get hit. No, you put it on the character. Oh. It's it's a token when so you put on your character. Yeah. Uh, put it on their character. Don't you? Yeah, it's a negative status effect. So you put it on their character, so they get an additional damage, and then the attacker that hits them gains a CP for doing it. When a player afflicted with this token is attacked by an opponent, the attacker increases their damage by one. And gains one CP. It's a persistent ability. Uh, yeah, so you basically mark the, the baddie as a target there, and then when we beat up on it, we get bonus stuff, and he gets hurt more. Oh, right. I get it. Ask your teammates if they have any wilds for you. <laughs> uh, no, not giving you any. I mean, no, I don't have any. Th what is a wild? Okay, <laughs> everybody's talking about wild. Uh, What's a wild? Th th there's a, so here. It's a wild card, Ian. It's what you think it is. So wild, change the value of any one die. So it's a wild. Oh, so yeah. for, uh, since this is co-op, does it say, if a card said change the value of one of your dice, does that work for anybody, or that still has to be for you, Manny? So you'll know if the word is your, yeah. then it means yours specifically. Okay. So I can't if use my samies on, on Anne, then. Your what? Samesies. Oh, I thought you said samies. I'm <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Yeah, you can't use samesies or a six it, but okay. you can use it so wild. I'm gonna reroll the bullets because. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Because I am. Yeah, they rolled more bullets. Yeah, but then I got this. There's a real name. Dash. For it. Yes, I was gonna say flash. Whoa. <laughs> this is close. Okay, so. Uh, it seems as like a worse option. Well. Yeah, it does look like a worse option. Uh, what, um, what's your numbering? Uh, you have uh, one, three, oh, yeah. four, six. That's not anything close to a straight. No. <laughs> Roll it all again. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, you got two dashes, two bullets, and a, s and a bang. A bullseye. That was my third roll? Yeah, yep. it is. So can you make anything okay. with that? Oh, uh, That's just large straight. That's a large straight. You have two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, yep. four. Okay, so wait, what's the significance of the straight? So that's other options on your card. You'll have things for, so this here's a small straight, and this one's a large straight. So read out that card, this ability there, Anna. Can you put my dice over there so people can look at how great I rolled? I'll put them in the card cam. Oh, that's a built thing. <laughs> okay, uh, where? Oh, large straight. So large straight, It. so what's the difference between a small straight and a large straight? Small this straight is... is four, large straight is five. Uh-huh. Okay. Large straight. Gain two evasive tokens and deal seven damage. Oh, I like this. There you go. And y'all mm -hmm. are doubting me. So then I get two ev ev evasion tokens? Yep, evasive? and that's that's explained here on your card. So. Oh, they're all in my tray. Yeah, so then why do you have all the components over there? If monsters do any... I, I don't... I'm assuming all these status effects are for monsters and stuff. Manny? 
Yeah, it's for their world tokens. Okay. They're that's cool. Like a like the Wither Elf here can inflict uh, barbed vine, I think, and entangle. These so that's why you would use those. So evasive is a positive status effect, and it's got a stack limit of three. When a player with this evasive yeah. receives damage, they may choose to spend this token. If spent, roll one die. If the outcome is a one or two, no damage is received. Although other effects may still apply, multiple evasive tokens may be spent in an attempt to prevent the same source of damage. So, and you rolled seven damage? Yeah. So he had 14 health, which means he's down to seven health. That would be Okay, so now you'll notice on the Wither Elf, he has a defense. Oh, boy. Never mind. All right, so that so, is... Do, 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 where am I? No, his defense tells him to roll all five dice. Ah. So now the way you roll dice in this game is the player who went before the person who's active. So, Matt, you would roll any time uh, Anne is engaged with minions or bosses. Cargan. Roll onto Cargan. It's okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, look at that. I rolled two of these uh, bunches of bananas the vortexes. here. Oh, vortexes. <laughs> and I like bunches of bananas, bananas better. <laughs> yes. Uh, prevent half the damage rounded up. So, it's going to prevent four damage. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you roll terrible then? Uh, so he's got 11 health. Uh, yep. Magic Moose says Matt's a real-life artificer. He used to be in robotics. He used to run the... Ro okay, look, don't even get on him in his robotics club and how cool he thought he was. <laughs> did used to be in robotics Vortex club. is just short, uh, short for a bunch of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay, so now he... So, you, so now, Anne, you have your second main phase where you could play cards or sell cards or upgrade or that, that kind of stuff. Um, probably you don't need to at this point, but yeah. you could if you wanted to. Okay, no, and I only have one CP, so. Right. And well, I'm good. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay, so now your turn is you're done, but now the Wither Elf gets to attack you. That's rude. So this is where the um, AI system comes into play. So Matt, you are going to roll up to three times you to try it. to get either a small or large straight. All right. Frank, co-op, and yet Matt rolls a prevent half. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I rolled a one, two, four, five. Okay. So now, in this case, you would pick the... Now, the logic of the game is that you pick the thing that would most benefit the minion or boss. So in this case, a four, five would be the better choice. So would I keep because the one, it's, two, it's four, five, and re-roll the fifth you die would, to try and get a three? You would not. You only keep numbers in sequence when you're rolling for straights. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So you keep the four, five, and roll the rest. All right. So I rolled a one, four, four, so that didn't help out at all. Okay, so you roll them again. And I rolled a six, and a three, and a two. So I rolled a, a large straight. Perfect. What? No, what? No, <laughs> that's not how you just... <laughs> Look, I know you were all about the <laughs> combat version of this game. <laughs> so, so now, to yeah. be fair, so now basically anybody who has uh, dice fixing cards, <laughs> like that wild card that Josh has, yeah, he could choose to play that to wreck the straight and help you not take any damage. Uh, so, so, so Matt, what is he going to do he, if, if, like, he, if he had resources? And this is where you guys have to decide how do you want to play together. So he will do seven damage and inflict Wither. So okay. what is Wither? Wither is an effect that would cause all of your future attacks to be minus one to their damage. Oh, that sounds horrible. Until you, yes, until you find a way to get rid of it. Look, Best Seeker, Anne didn't get Withered yet. Let's not jump the gun. <laughs> Josh, are you going to help out, Anne? Yes, of course he is, because this is a co-op game. Sorry, give it up. Everyone's <laughs> saying Withered's a very ongoing pain. And yeah, should probably I'll, be I'll use my wild card. You have one too, don't you? No, I don't. And I that's going to cost me two CP. Look yep. at how sad he is. And you'll wreck the four in the middle, I'm assuming? Uh, yep, I'll wreck the four in the middle. All right. So now, just a, a side note, that there's still a boss coming at the end of this. And that boss is going to be pretty robust. And all those wild cards and all of the dice fixing might be really useful when you get to the end of the session. It might so be. you guys are going to have to figure out how to balance the use of your cards here with what you save to try to get to the end. And selfish motivations are to keep herself alive in the beginning. <laughs> this early in the game, that one point can add up so much more. Okay. GP sure. for Josh is extremely important. Yep. Okay. So, so I have the, a question, Mandy. Wizard Elf is done. Uh, and and you're done. Okay, 
I didn't die. Josh, do you, you have a question, Josh? <laughs> yeah, Manny, uh, if I have cards that say my uh, target discards cards, does that, that does nothing, basically? Um, in the case of, yeah, the minions, correct. Okay. One more question for you here, Manny. So yes. I've got the one more time card here. So a chosen player may perform uh -huh. a reroll. Would that have forced the baddie to do a reroll himself? Or since it's may, would that have not? Uh, correct. May is the key word there. Okay. You're giving them the choice. And because you need to make choices for the benefit of the minion or boss, you would not choose to reroll it. So there, I couldn't help you. I appreciate it. All right, so it's going to move over to Josh's turn now. Yep. I like how Drake yep. points out, no, it says May, so he could say, no. big angry capital letters, <laughs> no. no. It's, a, it's a common question, and a lot of people ask it, I think, because they want to be able to play it on someone to have them reroll. Yeah. And that May is real crucial, because you could spend that one CP on your opponent, and then they just say, no. Thank no, you. I don't think I will. Thanks for the offer. Yes, so. Buttons. Do I want to go help Anne? Yeah, it's a co-op. Or do I want to go explore more? <laughs> well, now you can't go past her because so, there's no open tile. Between... I, can't, I can't go to the next one and reveal that? No, no because... Okay. Because there's two things stop forward motion, either an undiscovered tile or a tile where a, a hero is engaged in battle. Okay. Fight, fight, So I fight. guess I'm going to help Anne. Yes. I guess. All right. So. Somebody's asking, did this just start or are you off time zone? We did start a little under an hour ago, but we've just, we're still on the first tile. You're not missing much. Yep. Right. I mean, you missed the interview. And oh. I'm going to draw a card <laughs> and get a CP. I go to my main phase. I am selling this card because. I can't make them discard or anything. John just said that same thing in chat. He said if they if you can't to sell it. Yeah. That's right. So there there are I think the Shadow Thief has one card. So but I I can't think of any other cards off the top of my head that are not that don't have use in the game. You don't you haven't memorized all of the cards for all sixteen characters? Off the top of your I'm head? I'm trying to rem not off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember actually if there's any other card that specifically okay. um Actually, there's a few Cursed Pirate cards that have an opponent. Uh, they have to make a choice, and they can discard a card or not. So, But there aren't very many. All right, so I'm rolling now. I got two sixes, two shadows. I like how someone in chat's just like, geez, Manny, why don't you know literally everything? everything. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> two bags and a dagger. Uh, Manny, these characters are Rosella free? Right. Am I right? What does Rosella uh, free mean? I Rosella is the shopkeeper, so she's right there, uh, right by the loot cards. Oh, okay. That's Rosella, okay. and it, she even has a name tag. It says, "Hi, my name's Rosella." <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> That's so cool. Just in case you forgot. Yeah. We're going for sixes but, uh, here. But I'm not exactly sure what the question's asking, Rosella. These characters, you you guys don't have any loot cards in your deck yet, because uh, this, um, this is your first session. No upgrades. Is that like sugar free? Rosella <laughs> <Is that> free? <laughs> Josh, okay. what'd you mean? Oh, you rolled four sixes. I rolled over four there. sixes and a four. What's oh, that? Oh, this, this is where that wild card would have come in. Oh, but but I have samesies. You have samesies. Oh, you and yeah. that's only one CP for that that's one. It's only one CP. So change the value of one of your dice to be identical to the value of another one of your dice. Oh. So I'm assuming you're going to change that six to a four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Changing <laughs> that six to a four. Uh, uh. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to gain three CP. So I go up to five. Because that's what you get when you roll all sixes. Yep. And then I deal CP plus five damage. So I deal ten damage. Oh. This is why I kind of want to. Except he has got... defenses. <laughs> so you haven't inflicted, he's got, he's math, you haven't inflicted you roll. anything yet. You got to roll. It's got one health left. Okay, so. Oh, that's true. You got to so do the now, defense uh, first. You, you hit an ultimate. Yeah. Which means an ultimate. Uh, the opponent cannot take any actions of any kind. Ooh. They don't roll defense. They can't play cards. This is the same in dueling, and So if you, if, when you play this as a dueling game, okay. an ultimate basically says set your cards down, adjust your health dial, and just take the damage. Take oh, it like wow. a champ. You can't do anything. So how did you know yep. it was an ultimate? Because if you roll all sixes, it's your ultimate. It's your big skill right at right, the bottom. Right at gotcha. the bottom of your board, Ann. Gotcha. Oh, my ultimate does 13 damage. 
It's pretty right. swanky. Mine does 10 and a bunch of other things, so that sucks. Uh, then yep. at the conclusion of my turn, I remove all status effects and then gain shadows. What shadows? He hides. Yes. I hide. Like a ninja. Mm -hmm. Yes, he hides. So shadows means he cannot take damage from an offensive roll phase. So does that mean Anna can still get damaged? Uh, or does he just attack well, me? It, that, that would be true if the opponent did damage to all players on the tile. Okay. So since he only does damage to but me. This, the, the, correct. The Wither Elf will not attack you. Okay. Basically can't attack you. Cause, so there won't even... Yes. Now, it, now there, there are negative status effects that could be inflicted. So you'll still roll. Okay. Because Shadows just stops the damage. All right. So, and you're going to yeah. roll for the attack? Wither Elf. Yep. So you're going to try and get a straight. Essentially. He, wait, wait. How many... It's the same style. Three. How many how many CP points? How many uh, health points does the elves have now? You one. 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 One singular point. So you got a two, three, four, five, six. Uh, did I need to do any other rolling? Are <laughs> no. you? We that's, think uh, that's. We think we're good with that. That's a large Thanks, straight right there. Oh, you're so welcome. It really was that smile you had on your face. I so just... while he does not get damage, does that mean he still gets wither? The effect. Correct. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> yep. Would have really helped if he had that wild card. Hi, yeah. man. How yeah. are you doing over here? <laughs> but he doesn't get the damage, though. So, I mean, that's better. So Correct. What, is, what does Wither do, Matt? Uh, and which token's Wither? So, Wither is minus one damage for all of his future attacks, then. It's a little, like, screaming ghost face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, now, that's a status effect that can only be removed by abilities or a card that says, like, Remove status effect or remove all status effects. There we go. It's considered it's considered persistent. Gotcha. It's a screaming ghost face. Oh, it is a screaming ghost mm -hmm. face. It kind of looks like Deadpool. Matt, can you show off the, uh, the it, character we're fighting right now? It, 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 it was the uh, token that was brought into the game by the cursed pirate. So, uh, I, was there a question mm -hmm. in chat, Josh? I think they kind of just wanted to see it, and we just show it off since what they just did. The Wither Elf. So, he got a large straight... And they got Wither and 7 damage. So we both rolled a large straight for him. So we're we're doing good, Ann. Hey, you so did. Great. Here. Liam, okay, so space. Matt, you're up. All righty. So I'm going to gain like a CP. You're joining the battle. Yep, I'm going to gain a CP. Well, yeah, I join into the battle. I gain a CP, I draw a card. Now, we've really softened him up for you. So as long as you can do one damage <laughs> past the defense. I mean, he needs to do two damage in case he rolls for his defense. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to – I don't think I'm going to play any cards from my hand. I don't think I've got anything that really helps out right now. No player upgrades or anything like that? Um, that's a lie. I'm going to do this one here. So I'm going to put – I'm going to play Don't Back Down. <laughs> so, so good. Because I <laughs> won't, won't back, back down. down. Uh, so it's going to cost me one CP, but then I gain the Backstrike ability. So Backstrike is when I get damaged, I roll a D6, and – uh, the opponent takes half the damage rounded up. Right. Manny didn't know this was a musical, too. <laughs> oh, I like musicals. I'm all in. Manny, was I supposed to do my defensive roll? Uh, no, because you took no damage. Because okay. you're in the shadows. There was no incoming damage because your shadows prevents okay. that or stops it. So, yeah, you can't do damage off your defense roll there. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try this one more time. All one right, so I rolled... Time. A lot. Uh, what is that? I rolled a lot of Kabutos. I love how each of these dies. Uh, each of the dice are like themed to the character. Like, I think it's so cute. Um. So what's shame? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know an awful what lot about shame? that. Uh. Let's see. It's a negative status status effect. Reduces attack damage by one. Uh. So, in this case, as long as you're dealing your two damage, it won't matter. The shame won't come into play. Shame always comes into play. <laughs> are you, are you going to shame him for how aggressively he said no when you offered for him to reroll? Exactly. All right, so I rolled um, Solemnity. Did I, I think I'm mm -hmm. saying that right? Sol solemnity? Yep. Uh, solemnity. So it's going to give him shame, but it also does seven damage, so I'm just going to kill him. Okay. Kill him with shame. Well, yep. What a shame. So it passes over to Josh so he can roll defense for him. All themed to the character being I mean, correct. defense nope. doesn't even matter at this yeah, point, though, because matter. it's just going to do it half. It won't, because there's no damage that can be dealt back. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he dies. Yeah. Yeah. So now you'll notice there's a little treasure chest on him. 
Oh yes, he is. He is, has a reward too. Yes. So you all roll that d twenty and you <sighs> check check the loot table. Oh yeah. Where's my orange one? I don't know. Oh, I, I think I stole yours here. You got that one. Oh, I rolled a Did nine. Did I explain to it you? It was on my side. All right. So eight. That was lame. Josh, what'd you roll? I got a sixteen. What's a sixteen, Josh? A sixteen is three gold. All right. Uh, that's yep, pretty sweet. Make sure right you're there. checking on the blue. Yep. Good. Uh, so I rolled a nine. So a nine is going to be two health. Correct. Can I go above my maximum then? Yep. Just like regular dice throwing, you can go ten over your starting health. And Anne got eight. So you get to draw two cards. Is that what that is? Yep. All right. So Anne, you're going to up your hand by two cards. And that's good because I'm at four, so this only puts me at six. I'm so happy for you, Anne. I want some more right. cards. Ooh. So the other thing to note, I, I think we didn't, I don't think we said this at the beginning, but you guys should have each had a salve token. Yeah. The little silvery, do you, you each have one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, for the people watching, the salve tokens can be used at any time in the game before you start your turn. You can spend it and heal D6. But okay. if you all agree to hold off and use it when you find the boss, you roll for D6 healing, and then you get one free reroll. So don't touch it. Gentlemen. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you, I would say hold off as long as you can to use them. Okay. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay. So then turn goes back to me? Yep. And we go open up more portals? Yeah, you're opening up all the portals. Yeah, I yeah. am. Um, Boom. Jump you don't really in. have much of a choice either in this one too. Me and the Stargate team. So you you cannot move uh, diagonal, only orthogonal. All right. Oh, I, I kind of <laughs> thought <laughs> we got the mountain of salt. It's yours. I found that. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> it puts the salve in the basket, or it gets the hose again. Boss <laughs> plus one CP. So That's Joshua, it. you got that one there. Yep. Uh, and we're okay. going to spawn a one. Or, alternatively, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3, spawn a 2. On a 4 through 6, gain a... Get, what is that symbol there? Two, two hexagons. Two gold. Okay. So, Anne, do you want to do 50-50? Yes. That was a question. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand why you asked. Okay. So, I'm rolling... A d6. You want high numbers. I have faith in you. Yeah, that's misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a three. Oh, uh, so close. Hey. So close, but yet so far. So Man, I give you fair warning. We're minion. probably just going to fight level twos and three monsters throughout this whole game yeah. and not fight a level Sorry. one. Sorry? Sorry? We're, 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 we're going to fight all the big baddies that we can because we risk it for the biscuit here. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. You want to go put your mountain assault underneath you? <laughs> So we got a Dreg Lackey. So this has 13 health and 1 CP there. So if you can get that, well, I guess I could use this one here. He's got the Master's Bidding, which is going to be deal for undefendable damage, but he has to roll this uh, combination combination here. Passive on a failed offensive roll, he gains a CP. Nope. And he does not. So there's uh, First Strike Minions and Regular. He is a regular. Uh, he the first strikes have a little symbol that says first strike on them. Gotcha. So uh, his objective is to roll that and okay. So remind me the importance of him gaining CP again, Manny. So the CP is only there for the purposes of like if someone were to steal it. Uh, gotcha. You know that he has one CP that can be stolen, or uh, there are abilities like the gunslinger has the ability to knock down. And if you knock down the Dreg Lackey, they have to pay two CP in order to take their offensive roll phase. So that's a that's a tac tactic you could take that you might knock this hero down. He would be incapable of paying the two CP, and then he would have to forfeit his turn. Well, that's pretty swanky. Oh, hello. And go beat him up. Hold on, fix my leg. Okay, so at the beginning of my turn now is the income upkeep phase. I don't have any status yep. effects to do. Income phase, I gain 1 CP, so I'm going to go from 1 CP to 2 CP. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to draw Correct. a card. Now, I do currently have a hand of 6, but that's okay because I just need to end my turn with 6. So Correct. I'll have a hand of 7. So, so also, cards. remember, you have a passive ability that says gain or reload. 
So I, right now you should have two reloads. Juice. So my and my reload ability says it's a positive status effect with a stack stack limit of two. So I should probably spend away. Spend You're away. gonna want to use them this turn. Yep. So spend and add half of one d six to my attack damage. If a player concludes yes. their offensive roll phase with an attack, they may spend this token. If spent, roll one d six and add half the value as damage rounded up. Ooh, rounded up. That's pretty good. So you can get between one and three additional damage. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, dokie. Uh, so the two cards that I got earlier was the one more time that we saw, and then I got a wild. Okay. Uh, but what I just drew was eat lead. Nom 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 nom. Uh, it's attack modifier. So roll five d sixes, add one damage for each bullet, and if at least four damage was added, inflict knockdown. Oh, that's pretty good. And so it's only one CP to do that too. Is a one-time effect? Yeah, it's a one-time use. Mm. Right. You'll notice it says attack modifier. Attack modifier means you have to activate an ability that would cause damage. Then you can play that card to add additional damage. Okay. So would I choose to use this card? How does that work in in the phase? Like, do if I'm playing, do, do I play this so, during the offensive roll phase? Right. So you'll notice the card is orange. Ah. So and it has a little die symbol. That means it's played while rolling dice or during the roll phases. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a peek, I think, back at my hero upgrades. I could only get one. I can upgrade my passive quick draw. So I think I want this, though, especially after looking at reload. So this goes from... Did you just throw that up there real quick? So the top... <coughs> Uh, the top I already have during your upkeep phase gain a reload, but this is when you spend a reload, you may reroll that die one time. Especially since I'm going to be spending my reload, I think that that's what I want to get. And I'm going to interrupt you here for one second. Sure. Um, I completely neglected my Bushido passive ability, and it was at the conclusion of yeah. your turn, if you use less than three rolls during your offensive roll phase, I only use two, uh, I gain honor. So honor is going to let me, uh, it's a token that I get, and I can spend those to add additional damage it to my attack. It offset all the personal shame you hold? No, no, I give others shame. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can shame yourself on defense, just FYI. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we're going to update, upgrade that quick draw. And so now we go into the offensive roll phase. So I'm going to Yahtzee style roll my die. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Was it Boggle with the box? Yeah. Boggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see what you get here. Just what? knocking over Matt. So you got two ones, you got two sixes, and a five. Yeah, I did. So two bullets, two bullseyes, and a dash. So I think I'm going to reload. I'm not going to reload. I'm just kidding. Yeah, That's yeah, not the word you're I gonna, meant. You're going to go for the, the sixes. Yeah. yeah, I know you. That's one more bullseye. So you at least got something guaranteed. So I definitely got the enforcer activity. Yes. Activity? Action? There's probably a better word for that. So much the ability. More to do activities. Ability. The ability, yeah. Nope. Nope, you didn't get it. But you got enforcer. So I'm just going to throw this up so that people see what Please. that is one more time. And that is you gain an evasion token. So you gain evasive. And then inflict bounty and knockdown on up to two chosen opponents. So I'm assuming you're just going to do the, the one guy. Uh, but you're going to... Yeah. Knock him down and give him bounty, and bounty is whenever we attack him, we do an additional damage and we gain CP. You're he also takes the damage when he gets that. No. No, there's no damage dealt with Enforcer, so there would be no bounty gained. So knockdown is that uh, spend two CP or skip offensive roll phase. He only has one CP. Yes. Correct. So he's got to skip his offensive roll phase. Yep. Also. Correct, and then. Yep. I'm gonna use reload. So you can't because you didn't uh, actually activate an ability that uh, does damage. You have to do some damage to him for reload to stack. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'm a... And what's your limit for your evasion tokens? Three. Okay. All right. So, and is that at the end of your turn then? Yeah, because I can't do... And, and then they're not going to be able to attack the right. the dude. The... I, the the dang lackey. I'm out of CP. <laughs> the drag. Drag. There we so go. He gets the knockdown token. He gets the knockdown token, right? Yep. Yep. Knockdown and bounty. And so bounty. when does the knockdown get removed? Just on his next offensive roll phase. So he would, yeah, he would have, he would start his turn like normal, and before he rolls dice, he would have to pay two CP to take his offensive roll phase, because he 
cannot. He would spend the one, so it's gone now. Mm -hmm. And then now the knockdown goes away off of him. Okay. Okay. And then he still has bounty, but he can't attack. Gotcha. So he doesn't attack um, and Anne, but he... he'll attack Josh. Right. Yep. So now, now Josh will take his turn, and theoretically he'll be able to attack. Frank did uh, uh, Frank and Chad did mention that now might be a time to sell cards. How many do you have? Um, I have six. So you're fine. You don't have to sell them. You could if you wanted to. You can keep them for next turn, and then after that, you yep. want to discard down so you have six. Okay. That's a good point. Also, I yep. was just told that the knockdown is clutch. Cho told me that the knockdown was clutch, so confirmed. All right, so <laughs> because this is a cooperative game, yes, I'm going to spend two CP right now for an instant action of bye bye and I'm going to remove <laughs> Josh's screaming ghost. <laughs> right, perfect. Bye bye you You're not withered anymore, Joshua. Cool. So you can fix I your... appreciate your thanks. <laughs> you're giving me a high five. You're just... Fixing your withered face. Okay. Right, so now it is um, my turn. I'm going to move on to the same tile as Anne. So. So its passive on the drag lackey, by the way, is on a failed offensive roll. It gains one CP. So it couldn't even do its offensive roll. Correct. So that does not trigger. You're welcome. So I'm going to go. Can you move me Anne to uh, your space? Yep. Again, a CP. Again, a card. Ooh, I got some good cards here, but I'm not using any of them. You could hear the CP refilling on Josh. Did, did you hear that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Manny came with the sound effects. It was good. So Josh yeah, got two yeah. sixes again. Two sixes, a dagger, a bag, He's and a card. Sixes. I know Joshua. So now you will notice, Josh, that you are currently in the shadows. Yep. So unless you hit your ultimate, you cannot be in the shadows for two turns in a row. Yep. <laughs> There's Another one more six. six. Can you do it? One Another more six. six. You got four out of five. Oh. Do you have another one more? Same Z's? I got something. I got a really good card. I just don't know if I want to use it. So why don't you share with the group since it's not. Again, but, I know you're having. But I still get Shadow Dance, right? Yeah. Which puts you me do, back in the you shadow? Will, or... You will not gain shadows. I will not gain shadows. Because you're already in the shadows. What's the really good card that you have? Uh, I have twice as wild. So you could wild Changes two cards. Two cards. No, don't oh, use we that. don't want that for that. this. Don't use that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to... I can do try, try again and re-roll that die one more time, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to take... I'm just going to do my shadow dance. You could dance if you want to. I'm going to roll a d6. You leave your friends behind. Um, I rolled a four. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to deal two, two pure damage. Undefendable damage. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then I yeah. gain shadows. So I already have is... shadows. And then I sneak attack. Sorry. You you gain sneak attack. Yep. Yeah. So, sneak... so pure damage is unenhanceable damage. You cannot oh. add play attack modifiers. You cannot boost it. But it is defendable. It's not. It's uh, avoidable damage. So they don't get to roll defense. But if they had an evasive or something like that, they could use it. Okay. So what uh, sneak attack, Josh? Uh, sneak attack. Uh, roll one d6 and add the value to your damage. Oh, that's darn good. Yep. So All right. It's, just a, it's a plus a d6 damage. So now he is going to attack you because he couldn't defend, but he can attack you. Oh, so... uh, yeah, he can try. So he took his two damage. So you're out of the shadows now. <sighs> Was right. that you, yes. when you were um, and he can try? Try rolling over here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we've got a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. He's got a large straight, but that doesn't do anything for this character. No. So this character... So, but you're... he needs two slashes, two vortexes, Oh, yeah, and a six, that actually worked out got, exactly right? what he needed. Two slashes, two bananas, so that's gonna and be... a flaming oh. die. Yep, four undefendable damage. So I rolled again, and I like how I also rolled the straight with it. I mean, this was... The can large we... straight it's, with it's it. It's behind me. Can we just... That's got to go on the camera. <laughs> I rolled so good. <laughs> you did. Josh, did you see how good I rolled? Yeah, I felt it. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> try, try again. You can well roll the same one die twice. But he's already... I My job is to do the best I can for this character, right? Yep. 
So you would, done the you best wouldn't you play can. any cards. That you would just stop since you activated the ability. Yeah. Bananas for the win. <laughs> they will always be bananas now. So Manny, I'm sorry. So Josh, we you enhanced your game. Mm. I appreciate it. <laughs> So Josh, you take four undefendable damage. Yep. Uh, I could do Enter the Shadows to go back in the shadows, but I don't want to spend four feet CP for that. So yep. I'll take the damage. Yep, you could. Okay. But the good thing is he's not going to gain any CP now because he only gains it on, you know, a uh, failed attack roll. But Josh, don't forget to reduce your health. I did. I'm at 16. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> All right, so it's back over to my turn then. Yep. So, uh, Anne, if you could please move me over into the Mountains of Salt. That's where you it's your live. homeland? It's my homeland. So I'm going to gain one CP, so I'm at one. How much life does the boss have for three players? So you should have a card that will, like, tell you level setup. Scenario level one. All right, so scenario level one. Boss discovery as a team. Boss setup. Boss setup. Okay, well, I'm reading. Just helping you. All right, so. Health is 10 plus 20 per player. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70. Ooh. Yes. That's a lot of health. That's a lot. It is. So when we get there, we'll, 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 uh, we'll set them up. I'm going to play Vegas, baby. And I roll a d6, mm. and I gain half the value as CP rounded up. So they made a board game of dice thrown card dice game. Should I put the helmet on your head, Matt? Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to gain uh, three CP. What? Half what? of five, rounded up. Uh, the bad guy has 11 health left. He only did two damage. So I'm at four CP. Do you you hit it? I, no, I'm, doing, I'm playing my cards. Oh, that's what I thought. Why? Chill, woman. Yeah. All right, so hit? I'm going to... I did two damage to it. Was that with the bonus? That was my shadow dance. But was that with the bonus? Because it had knocked. Oh yeah, you get an. Ad oh no, it's unmodifiable. So no, does no. the bounty not upgrade that then? Oh no, bounty would have. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and do I also get a CP for that, right? You do. Yeah. You're welcome. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. All right, so I'm gonna upgrade my Wakazashi too. So that is that going to give me the ability to inflict more shame and do some more undefendable damage, which is pretty swanky. So Manny, can you upgrade from a level one to a level three? I don't remember the rules. Yes, of that. you can. Okay. You just pay the you just pay the full amount. So it's it's just the two CP. Yep. Whatever the cost is on the card. Okay. Now, if you had gone to level two first, you'd pay the difference when you upgrade to level uh, three. Okay. So I'm assuming the level one or the level two is a one is, CP cost. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So I remember there was some rule about it. I just can't remember what the rule was. All right. I rolled a whole bunch of Kabuto's again. I rolled four Kabutos and a Katana. So I'm going to go for the Solemnity again, because I think that makes the most sense. What is... That's one That's a hat? Kabuto. Yeah, I don't want that. Spiky hat. That's a spiky hat no! again. No! Okay. What, what are the odds on your... <laughs> oh, they're all... That's the two of six ones. So I wound up getting nothing because of that. Ooh. Um, But you have like eight boxes... It's Eight boxes on your board plus your ultimate, and you got nothing? Okay, so I'm going to spend one CP and do one more time, and I'm going to reroll my dice there. <laughs> what about your honor? What does your honor do? Um, my honor allows me to increase my damage. Okay. So probably wasting this by playing it now, but I don't want to do nothing, so there's that. Yeah, but I would rather you do It worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I did. It. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, so I got Solemnity again, so I'm going to deal 7 damage, and this time I am going to inflict Shame. So can I get the, the bell, please? Shame! Shame! <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give him a Shame token, and that is, it's going to... Uh, what does it look like? Oh, is it this thing? Yeah. So when a player afflicted by Shame would deal damage as a result of their offensive roll phase, remove this token and reduce the damage by 1. Plus, how much damage did you say that you did? Uh, 7. So there's the health thing, plus... Hold on, he's going to roll his defense. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, Matt, you would automatically get the CP because you attacked someone. From the bounty? So even if he would have prevented all, yeah. Nice. From the bounty. All right, so he's got some different defense stuff. So, Josh, what's your roll there? How many... Two uh, bananas, two fire dice, and a claw. Okay, so 
two fire dice, he's going to gain two CP, and he's going to prevent two damage. You'll notice it says on chaos symbol. Oh, oh it's not for each CP. one? So regardless of how many, you notice prevent says 1x. Ah. Whereas it says on. So no matter if you rolled four sixes, you would gain one CP. So, Josh, you also rolled too many dice. No, I didn't. I rolled these five. It's supposed to be four. It's oh. four. Oops. Every hero has their own unique defense. So let's try that one more time. Three bananas. Thanks, Josh. So he's going to prevent three damage. Yep. So And no CP. I Right, and he doesn't gain any CP. So I did seven plus the one from Anne's bounty, so I yeah. did eight. He's going to take five damage then. So he's at five health. Yep. He's not now, bad. hold on one second. Do I want to spend... What? Wait, what did you just do? I gave you back your knockdown token. So my know. honor, I would have to have spent that before he... Deal, uh, you can defense. spend it right now. So you can you can use attack modders, modifiers before or after seeing the result of defense. Oh, gotcha. that's cool. So it only would affect, uh, increase it by one, so I'm not going to do that. I'm, I have a feeling you could deal five damage, Jan. Maybe. So Josh, because he got hit, Josh took the knockdown token off. What? Is that correct? No. He got... He got the knockdown token removed because of... On your turn, he couldn't yeah. make it up, so he gets it removed, but he couldn't attack. Correct. So it shouldn't have been there on my turn. That's why he was able to attack me. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to use that now. So he's going to try to... Oh, wait, hold on one second. I'm actually... I am going to use that now. I'm going to use my honor. I'm going to deal one one additional damage to him. So they're talking no, about the time to make it through the game, and I think it is important to state... Um, one, the game is currently on Kickstarter, so kind of a disclaimer that we give, and I probably should have done this at the beginning with any Kickstarter games, is that sometimes things happen. Maybe there's slight changes, tweaks, whatever. Mm -hmm. This this is not the final. I mean, obviously, the quality of these components are not typical prototype quality of components, but things, things are subject to change. The other thing is, is that when we are doing the playthroughs live on stream, uh, Matt talks a lot. So it takes about twice as long for us to play the game. Hi, Josh. It's so, I will say that uh, in our beta test group, my, my own games included, games can take as little as 70 to 80 minutes to play. Um, they can also take two plus hours. So the, the tile layout you guys have on the board is a linear path, where some of them you'll start at the Crimson Sands, and there will be three options. There will be three paths you could choose. And if you chose wrong in the first two paths, the game will just take longer. The key here seems to blame Matt. See, that's where I kind of led you in the <laughs> wrong direction. Okay. It's rule three. Everyone knows that. So, Josh, uh, can you roll his attack on me now? Yeah. Uh, so, Anne, can you go ahead and give that to Matt so I can see what I need to roll? Uh, you're trying to get... Uh, two of the first icon, two bananas, and one flaming dice. I need a flaming die then. Two, two slashes. Oh, there we go, Matt. Second roll. Cool. So it's going to be four undefendable damage straight to me. So because yep. I'm getting, oh, it's undefendable. That sucks. Okay. Well, do I still? I I don't roll my defense dice. Nope. So undefendable only means you cannot roll defense, but you can use a different thing that you acquired earlier. Well, yeah, I was curious as if I can roll defense, but then I couldn't prevent the damage because I do have you a do not. No, 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 no. Okay. So you cannot roll your defense ability on undefendable. Gotcha. All right. So I will. And do you think you could do four damage on your turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to spend my, my backstrike then. I thought it was cute because Rams like slash vortex chaos and Frank has quickly corrected them slash banana <laughs> flame thing. Manny, I'm so sorry <laughs> that we are butchering <laughs> your components, but it's become a thing. I, I like that slash actually still lived through that uh, <laughs> that design session right there. It's bananas. It, it maintained its slashness. It's slashiness. It's good. Slash is a raptor, raptor claw. claw. I'm, I'm all for raptor claw. That's good. Oh, so you take three damage because you have the status effect on him. Oh, yeah, you have oh, shame. Oh, yeah. I don't have shame. I mean, oh, man, I'm at Does right. that go off of him afterwards, or yeah. is that permanent? Yeah, no, it leaves him okay. after that. Uh, and you're hiding, you're hiding your bounty token. He still has a bounty on him. Yeah, the bounty's he's important. Wanted, dead or alive. Okay. He is. But we mostly so, <laughs> someone asked me a question. Um, before you were working on Dice Storm Graphic Novel, but stopped Kickstarter, did you keep writing? Um, I have kept working on the lore and the background and the backstory stuff. 
And I don't know when we'll be able to explore it in depth, but I want to. I like uh, I like Chaos, the Beast Seeker, said the game is bananas. B A. N A. N A. S. N A. N A. Why are you. There's Roll your dice. <laughs> I love the story behind it. I'm excited to hear more about the uh, lore of this world. So you rolled two ones, uh, four, five, six. You can keep the four, five, six and go for the straight. I could do I that. assume you got your income phase right in. No, they're just yelling just at me to thing. roll, and then no I get all you nervous. Roll. Don't, do you rolled all right? Just leave the roll. Oh, my goodness. You can leave the roll. Just make sure you get your CP in your card. Just remember what it was. Okay. So I go up to one CP, then I draw my card. Oh, I got the buy thing. That's good. Those are all rolly cards. You doing anything with that? My upgrade, it, my rolly cards? I don't know yet. Um, I only have one CP. You sell cards for more CP. That's good. Mm, I don't want to do that. Do I you do have that? more than six cards, don't you? Yeah, but I have these two on the rolls, attack modifiers, so I think I want to see if I can use at least the eat lead. Oh, no, I don't, because that will be too much for this. And I don't want to sell either of those. Don't really want to sell Dice Throne, the live action movie. That sounds... Manny, who would he cast <laughs> in Dice Throne, the live action? Who, who would be the Mad King? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> no, I'm thinking uh, Jeff Goldblum. Just like himself. <laughs> <laughs> like every other movie he said. I think Perfect. of all of the cards in my hand that I should get rid of the want that the want I should sell the wanted card. So I feel like it would just be Thor Ragnarok again, right? That's what he did. Hello. Yeah, sell your card. You are useless. <laughs> okay, so I just put this in a discard pile yep. and I get a CP. There you go. So now I'm up to two CP. Yes, you're rich. Can I sell and then I Five? see three. Yeah. Yeah. I can, but I don't have enough to do it. Okay. So you are so kind, and you remembered my yep. dice. So you're going to keep your four, five, six, and you're going to roll your one, two? I think so. Okay. Uh, you got a three. So that gives you a small straight. Small straight. After targeting an opponent, you each roll 1d6. If your roll is equal or greater, deal seven damage. Otherwise, deal five damage. That's cool. We're going to reroll this one for the big one. You didn't get it. Nope. But you still got the small straight. I so now did. I need to roll a d6 for the... Thank you for doing that as nicely and cleanly as possible, Josh. <laughs> so, and roll a d6. Uh, Mad King should have been Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I rolled a three. I rolled a three. So who wins on a tie, Manny? So what does the ability oh, say? If you roll... RTFC. <laughs> <laughs> if your roll is equal <laughs> or greater, deal seven damage. So you're going to deal seven damage. Okay, but I also... Oh, is there a defense to the small straight? No, it. I mean, it just... Yeah, he's gonna, he's still going to roll his defense dice. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. I think... Oh, I want to do the reload, right? Oh. I can do that now. Yeah, because you're going to get yep. one for free at the start of your next turn, right? Yeah. Yep. I, I lost plus, my plus one Plus he has the turn. bounty, so don't forget that. Yeah, yep. you get an additional one, so you're going to do eight damage, and then what do you you have to roll a d6 for your reload? Yeah, okay. and it's uh, one d6 rounded up. And I rolled a four. So two. Yeah. It's Half of one d6 rounded up. Yeah. Uh, now I'm yes. picturing a Mad King training montage like Rocky. <laughs> All right, so you're going to add mm -hmm. three, so you're going to do ten damage to it. Uh, so I need to roll some dice. So and did you have a second reload? I did. Can I? But I don't think I need both yes. of them because he's only got four health. Oh, he only has four. Okay. You well, you didn't need. Yeah, you could spend the first one anyways, just because you're gonna get another one later. That's what I. Oh, I was only supposed to roll four dice. Just leave that one off to the side. So I rolled two bananas uh, and two of the uh, slashes. So it's gonna prevent two damage. Uh, ten minus two is eight. Eight is greater than four. Carry the three and a half. Mm -hmm. He's dead. So what do we Multiply got? Multiply by pi. We get a reward of two blue. Okay, so we each roll our d20. 20, 20. Yep. Oh, I got 15. Uh, 19. You guys? I, I got a three. High five. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'll work from the bottom up. I just threw some cards. Don't mind me. All right, so a ah, three is, is going to be plus two... What's that? That is an attack modifier. <gasps> Ooh. Well, that's, oh, that's cool. Good. So you get a token that you can now spend 
to boost your damage by two at any point in the game. Oh, I like that. So, Ann, what did you roll? I rolled a 15. A 15 is two gold. I don't like getting money for you, Six folks. monies. Josh, you rolled a 19? Yep. That means you're going to get a blue loot card. That's this yep. one? So you, look, you, get, you get it, but you can't look at it. Don't look. Josh, blue loot card buddies. High five. Yeah. Lame. All right. How come I pick the big monsters and you guys get the cards? Uh, we're good at finding shinies. You're good at finding baddies. Yeah. Well, now Josh is going to find baddies. Oh, it is my turn. It's your turn. <laughs> Which um, direction are you going, Josh? I kind of want to head towards the loot. There's two loots. You got a green and a purple. I, I think I'm going for the green one first. All right. <laughs> Matt's going to try is... to use his new toy. Yeah. Nice. There you go. The crap's <laughs> rake. <laughs> were you going to use that rake to flip the card, too? That's no, that when... was, that's what Anne's for. All right, so you are in the Emerald Shoal too. So blo- boss CP, ple- oh Jesus, boss CP plus two, hero so CP plus one. Ooh. Yeah. Remove all status effects from the active player. So it's all status effects. I lost my backstabby. Good job, Josh. The mm, active bummer. And it's gonna be a level two baddie. So Anne, if you can get us one of those bad boys. Quite literally. Sure. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? And we've got the horned harpy. Oh wow, you uh, you used Anne's likeness here. Hey. So this has that first strike ability, like Manny was saying before. Okay. Oh. So. Yep. Yeah, Anne always does the work. Oh look look at so this is what she they're gonna do. She goes bananas. B a n a. She does. <laughs> but uh, it's all undefendable, so oh. she stinks. That's that's yep. rough. And keep your token. Oh, n- I tossed the bounty token from the baddie. Yeah. Uh, so then defensive rolls. They're, she's just pure bananas. Everything she's doing, she's going for the vortex. How much damage can she do? Uh, up to five. Okay. But thank you. Look, somebody's looking out for me. Give me. Put it up over Girl. here so I don't have to reach across. No, because then it gets hidden. You just hush and do no, your you stuff. No, you can put it here and you can see it. Roll your thing. <laughs> Matt, roll your... Uh, and roll the attack. You roll the attack. Yeah, you're rolling for the harpy. Oh, because the first strike. And then I'm going to need that back. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, so you're going for all bananas. Oh, actually, would you pick up my dice? Yep. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, uh, no bananas. So you rolled zero no bananas, bananas Anne. Roll again. That was pretty good. Have, um, am I supposed to be rolling all five attack die? You, yes. When you get a banana, you keep it. A vortex. So you rolled one vortex there. You're actually doing really good. But I meant like initially, because I just kind of grabbed oh, all the yeah. dice rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there they are, <laughs> all five. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a little bit of hope, <laughs> and then you kill me. Well played. So that's five undefendable damage, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Here they are, called it. <laughs> <laughs> No bananas, one banana, five bananas. <laughs> yeah. That escalated quickly. You really rolled a bunch of those. No. Whirlpool bananas. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now it's my turn. I'm going to get a CP. All right. I'm going to get a card. I believe in you, Josh. I believe in you. Right. So, Manny, we have a question in chat. Is it confirmed that the next two heroes will be an ape and a monkey who battle for bananas? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> such heroes. I oh. expected a dad. Da- Kira? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's the hero we needed. I still love that Nyobari's found the girl with the purple hair dabbing. I agree. I love it. Nice. nice. I'm not happy with this role. What did you roll? Three sixes, a two, and a four. Did yeah. you do anything? Um, I, I do shadow dance. <laughs> you could dance if you want to. Do. All right, so I do shadow dance. Okay. I'm going to roll D6. Okay. I'm going to do one whole pure damage. Huh. Mm. I'm going to gain sneak attack and shadows again. I forgot to see how much her health was. She only has three health, uh, nine health. She has okay. three CP, by the way, Josh. Uh, okay, cool. And then I'm going to play shadow coin. Matt, can you show that off real quick? Sorry. Yeah. So, Shadow Coin. So, gain 2 CP. If in the shadows, gain 3 CP instead. So, I'm going up to 12 CP. Were you in the shadows? Yep. 
Oh. Oh no, we lost Manny. Oh no, Manny, he'll be back soon, hopefully. All right, so uh, that's uh, it. I'm at I'm at twelve. You did one whole damage, right? Yeah. So they're at eight. I did one whole damage. Oh, the she still do defense though, because it's just pure damage. Oh yeah. So and can you please roll uh, three dice? Okay. So I'm gonna put these up on the shelf just to keep them separated. Oh, it's it's only a damage modifier. There's nothing else that would be here, Josh. So pure damage. Okay. So what is the damage? Uh, it's on bananas. <coughs> Uh, on a vortex, prevent oh, half the incoming damage. On two vortexes, ignore all income. Oh, she's nasty. One banana. It's three rolls still, roll still, right? No. Isn't defense just one roll, or am I wrong? It's only one roll. Yeah, okay. it's only one roll. So, well, so that was none. Yeah. Okay. So, Manny, pure damage is the same as undefendable. It's just that you can't do modifiers, right? Correct. Okay. So she would not roll defense against the pure damage. Okay. Gotcha. She's her defense is nasty though. It can be, yes. All right, so she's it's going to be my turn now. So I don't technically have to go and help Josh, right? I can go into Correct. I can go into that that is true. other You tile. do not. You I, have a choice. I think I'm going to do that. Why? Because Josh does like that pure damage thing, and that's good against this harpy who's easily blocking damage. Oh, wait a second. What? Magic Moose Moose said that Dice Throne was the first board game that got them into the hobby. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's super cool. Magic Moose Moose, were you, was the Dice Throne gauntlet we did the first stream you were it, on? It might have been. It might have been now. I'm trying to think. Onto that other two space. <laughs> I, I am in the shadow now, yeah. So I'm not going to get mauled in the face on the next turn. So <laughs> make sure you put your thief back on the tile. That's where oh, he yeah, is. Can you put my thief back on? Back home? So I'm in the bazaar. How bizarre, how bizarre. So ball CP plus three. You may pay two CP to gain a level two loot. If desired, you may sell cards at this time. Oh, look at that. I've got two CP. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. What was... Don't help those in the that means Everybody. Oh, we all get it then? Or we all can yep. spend any, two any to get it? A, any time a treasure chest is popped up, everyone gets it. I like that answer. So we all could spend two to get one? No, we... no, no, no. He paid the two. Oh. You all get to roll for it. Oh. You're welcome. Oh. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Oh, I rolled a six. I rolled a nine. Uh... I rolled a three. Hey, we all got multiples of three. All right, so Anne got plus two damage. Thank you. Josh, you got two CP. Yeah. And I got two health. That actually worked out nicely. You get a loot, go and go you get right. a loot, and you get a loot. Everybody gets a loot. <laughs> All righty. And that did spawn a level two baddie. Frank gets a loot, too. Boom, boom, boom. Am. I need a level two. Um, you should use the force, Luke. That's your new nickname is the force. <laughs> uh, so we've got a corrupted rogue, another first strike baddie. 14 health, mm. 5 CP. Uh, they're going to uh, try to roll straights. So it's going to deal half CP damage rounded up. Okay. So now this is where you would want to track the CP. She's going to start with five and gain two every time she takes a turn. Oh. Josh, so thus the tokens. Is the chatbot down? What? So, because we were having fun in chat, we were told Frank to roll his D20 uh, to see what loot he got. You got a... And it's exclamation mark roll. Oh. But... Matt needs to request it. Okay, do it. I don't think I have a D20 command, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, this was one we're going to track the CP. So, is there another thing that I can use to track that? The s there should be tokens. Ah, okay. I got it. Cool. So, I need five to start out with. And then immediately on the first turn, they're going to gain another two? Correct. Because they have a passive. At the start of each turn, gain two CP. Gotcha. So, um, Josh, you're yeah, going to need to... Bot is down. You're going to need to roll for the Corrupted Rogue. Okay. Uh, or the Corrupted Rouge, if you will. Mm hmm <laughs> So you're going for straights. Four, five, six. Small straights, four dice. Okay, you just still didn't get it. No three here. Uh, yes. No, no three. So you, you're good. All right. So on a so failed... No, what does it say? Yep. Yeah, on a failed offensive roll, it's going to gain sneak attack. Can you put it sneaker, down? Sneaker, sneaker. Leave it. Forever? Yes, forever. 
All right. So uh, remind us what the sneak attack does again. Uh, sneak attack means they're going to roll one d6 and deal that much, add that much damage to the total. Right now or on the, on the next, next turn? Any time they they would deal damage. So next time. <sighs> okay. Cool. I don't think I'm coming to help you. I mean. <laughs> I mean, well, leave this here because I'm going to attack it and do defense. That's the defense. That's fine, but it's not fine. It's not. It's not nobody fine. cares that you can see the card. All right, so I need to. I'm well. Hold on, I, I still have to do my thing where I'm gaining combat points. Yep, get your income. Card. Okay. Um, you know what? Yeah. I think it's payday. I'm getting paid. I'm going to gain two CP. <laughs> Anne's covering that space intentionally. No. Covering what space? Uh, I'm at 11 health and still at max 20, and Matt's at 21. Uh, yeah, I'm at, yes, I'm at 21 health. I thought you took damage. I got plus he health did. twice. Oh, he's healed twice. Yeah. Can you heal me? No. All right. Oh, I got three sixes. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm. I'm keeping those. Oh, even though I've got Wakazashi two right now. So that's four undefendable damage. I inflict shame, and I gain a strike back token. That's the ability that you upgraded last turn, right? Yeah. That is pretty nice. So they've got... The thing is that they've got 14 health, and that's quite a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, chat's saying go for your ultimate. Go for my ultimate? Okay. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll take that advice. I mean, Josh has it twice as wild if he wants to choose to help you. He, he sure does. <laughs> Good. We also have a boss to fight. All right, I got. Yeah, you still have a boss to fight. I got four sixes and a five. Okay, so you could just yeah, four you could sixes. Just do Hagakuri. Yeah, Hagakuri is pretty good. So it's going to gain me an honor. It's going to gain me a strike back. I inflict two shame, two shame, but I got me a few on, uh, and then deal five undefendable damage. Yeah, he said he. I can not even pronounce the W word. He said level two, but you're right. It's level three. Wakazashi. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 So I gain my honor. Can I spend my honor token immediately here, Manny? Sure, sure can. So John says throw the shame when you inflict it. Bam. <laughs> Bam. Shame. Here, we'll keep the shame in front of him there. Oh, Thank you. All right, so I am going to... I'm going to keep my honor for now. You have two shame on him? Yeah. It, Did you it, have two honor on you or just one? I had just one. If it was two, oh, I would have okay. I would have spent it. You also have your plus two damage token. Sure, I do also have my plus two damage token, but not not yet. Just calm it down, Josh. Uh, so that's also going to deal five undefendable damage. <laughs> Their own tokens is another game coming. <laughs> so oh, right. yeah, if you ch if you choose to use the damage modifier, it becomes the same type of damage. So if you were to add it, it becomes undefendable damage uh, along with your core five. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Feel like that's a smart move. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spend this too. I'm going to throw it over to you, Josh. Thank you. And so that's going to drop him down to seven health. Pog throne. Um, uh, I'm, up, I'm down for some pog throne. <laughs> Manny. Make Slammers? it happen. Well, then, my, <gasps> Manny, my honor also would go into that as well, right? Yes, it would. Yep. <sighs> it's fine. All right. So I'm going to throw. <laughs> I'm going to keep. Yours. Yeah, I know. And so he's down to six health. Okay. And he can't roll any defense because I'm awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's that's the end of that because he attacked first. Yep. So cool. And mm -hmm. it's so, your turn. and who do you want to help, Matt or I? Oh. So, oh, what do you mean who do I want to help? Well, you have to decide where to go before I take my turn. Yep. So this Correct. your monster has six health. No, this is Josh's monster here. That's no, mine. That's with the no. Josh has eight health. He only did one damage. So your stabby monster is over here with six yeah. health and, and a stabby. They're gonna stab you in the face if you go over there. The other one's gonna stab her in the face too. They're both four strike. But that one has. Backstabby on top of it. Yeah, that's so, true. <clears throat> it's true, but Josh, you also have shadows, right? Yeah, I do. So he's fine. Which means that even though first strike will happen, you won't actually take any damage. Yeah. I won't take any damage. I, I won't. No, Josh won't. Oh, I don't. So whether you help him or not, yeah, let him be. You know, let him take let care me of it. Solo the monster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, it makes the most sense. You're dealing the undefendable damage, and then you're also hiding in the dark. Fine. I, I like darkness. <laughs> I like how Josh is the one hiding in the dark corners, and you're the big baby crying for help. I mean, I beat him up pretty good. Josh is <laughs> safe hiding in the shadows. All right, so then we'll come over here to the bazaar. How, how bizarre. bizarre! How, how bizarre! bizarre. 
Okay, so he's going to attack you first now. That's rude. So can you pass me over the baddies dice, please? Yeah. And they're going for straights. Okay. Deal. Uh, two, three, four, five. Okay, so an open-ended straight that we've right. got there. That's a four. And that's a one. That's large straight. You're a terrible person on the inside. Oh, so hold on. First, they're going to gain two CP. And a large trait is they're going to deal CP as damage. Uh, they're going to deal nine damage. Matthew! Well, then gonna but then they're going to sneak attacks. They're going to roll a D6 and add the total or half of it. Uh, so total. it's the total rolled. So now you have to guys decide, can anybody help her? Can anyone affect the roll? That's a five. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I, not, I, so. can't, I can't affect the roll, so... Josh, can you? I can use my twice as wild, but that's that's not. I have a so wild. You can use your so wild. And you can yeah. change one of the middle numbers, and then he won't do any damage that to you. That sounds great. Okay. So you change the middle number yeah, to a taking two. taking 9 to 15 damage probably isn't what you want to do no. right now. Yeah, no. But on a failed roll, he's going to gain another sneak attack token? He just No, won't. it's a stack limit of one. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So there you go. Good job, Ann. You live to fight another day. I mean, he would have done... Two less damage because of his two shame? Yes. He would yes. Have done, but it, that was a very chunky roll. Yeah, it was. It still was. If it was the half amount, then that wouldn't have been that bad. If he was, if it was a small straight, it would have been half damage. Oh. Yeah, it wouldn't have been too terrible. But no, this was... She's gone. Look, don't underestimate the gunslinger. So now, Anne, uh, something Sorry. you should know is yeah. that at any time you can try to flee a battle. Oh. <laughs> not, not, so so not, not at any time. It's before you start your turn. Okay, so the first strike would have happened regardless. Okay. So at this point, you would decide. If you want to try to flee, you can. If you do, you roll one die. On a five or six, you run away. You have but your evasion you tokens. But if you fail the run away, then you lose your income phase for the turn, and you still have to fight. I do have my evasion tokens. So you could try to do that instead of using your wilds. So should I spend that? You'll get those back. Right, you. So if you let the damage go through and spend the evasive tokens, you can't go back and mess with the dice roll. Oh, I I don't even want to chance that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I mean, you've got three evasion tokens. Each one's a thirty-three percent chance of you blocking all of the damage that that goes through. Or yeah. evading it's your the damage choice. that goes through. You can. Then you could always wild the last evasive token if you failed the first two. Yeah. And, I mean, but, and the, three evasion tokens at oh. one-third chance, that's a 100% chance of it working. <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> I think that is how math works, I, I, don't, think. I don't think. I can use the so wild on my own evasion token? Yep. Yeah. Sure. So, any, uh, any die. So 100% I won't take damage if I use the evasion Correct. tokens. Correct. Okay, you're so trying to mitigate using your wild that with works. your evasion cool. tokens. Cool. So then let's back that up. So... Okay. They had 9 CP, plus it was 5 damage for sneak attack, so it would have done 14 damage minus 2, so it's 12 damage that's trying to come through right now. So terrible. So I need to roll a d6. Yep, and you want a 1 or 2. Yep. That's a 4. Um, do it again. Okay, okay. do it live. Yep. That's 3. That's terrible. Okay, do it again. Okay. I mean, that's 5. <laughs> so now you use your wild, yes, right. and you change it to a 1. Yeah. It was, I think it was worth and the it risk there. Yeah. I, I think you're right. See? A hundred percent chance. I hope so. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? All right. Which minion is worse, the rogue or the hydra? Uh, who's asking? When we got rogue or the hydra? Well, I mean, I asked you, but Major, Major Payne, Payne 24-7. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the hydra is unique. He's a unique minion who he has three heads. And you only, you only have to do seven damage to each head. But if you do any more than seven, all it does is take one of the heads. So you have to knock off three of the heads in order to defeat it. Oh, that's mean. But the heads are status effects, which means if you had a card that removed status effects, you could remove heads before you attack. <laughs> so, yeah, and... so the Hydra is uniquely difficult. He could be really, really hard, or he could be a pushover. So this rogue is going to get harder and harder as we go because it's going to get more and more CP, which is yes, more Matt. I have to come clean up your mess. I heard you. Thanks, mom. Uh, right. The, the, it's going to lose uh, the backy stab. 
Why so did it lose Kira, the Kira asked the question, the do tougher minions generally have better loot? Uh, no, the loot is based on the level. So, I mean, level two and level three minions will be harder. So therefore the loot that you gain, the, the ability to gain better loot is there because you're rolling on the two and three of the loot table. Makes sense. All right, you drew your cards, you did your... So for my, yeah, right, so my income phase, I got my second uh, reload. Yep. I drew a card. You upped your CP. And I upped my CP, so now I have three CP. And I the card that I drew is another hero upgrade. Oh, that's a good one. Take cover! But it gives you the mark of <laughs> target, so which is gain two evasion and inflict bounty. That's that's pretty handy. Yeah, it is. The Hydra's a level three Minasotian 666. Minasotian. Don't you know? Dual two kind of <laughs> reminds me of Showdown. All right, so dual two. This is your yep. defense. Yeah, this yep. is your defense ability. All right, so what are you what are you doing on your turn here, Ann? Are you getting dwell? What's the bonus difference between the two? Oh, so equal you'll or greater. You'll notice on your board is equal. And the other one is equal or greater, or greater. Then the upgrade is equal or, or greater. greater. So it increases the chances of winning the duel. Okay, and then so I think I. Hmm. Someone in chat saying. I'm gonna be right awesome. back. I have to run into my house real quick. Sure. No okay. <laughs> Every people in chat are saying that duel two is a very good defensive upgrade. Okay. All right, chat. I believe in you, and we have three CP, so we'll do. We're gonna upgrade that to duel two. Manny, sorry to bother you, but your favorite seven-year-old fan lizard says hi. She had me write this. Okay, Aww. repeat it again when he comes back. <laughs> Practice it, Josh, so you don't say it wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I am going to attack the darkness, a.k.a. the corrupted. Does the shame stay on, or does he lose it after attack? Uh, it is Persistent? when it would deal damage. So he didn't deal damage. Okay. So go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to roll my die. And you I got, got three bullets. And two Ooh. dash. I feel like that's something. No, close, but it's backwards. It's two dashes and three bullets is my take cover where I gain evasion and deal five damage. How much damage do we need to do? Six considering the after the defense. That is correct. So I really... <clears throat> none of this really helps with my bigger attacks. I got a one, two, three... Oh, no! Uh, hey... Look at me. One, two, three, four, five. That's a straight. Oh, that's a I large straight. That that's a large straight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice work, Ann. Could you make that just a, a short? Uh, chat's also reminding you, you have reload. Re uh, reload. Reload stuff you're so I do, and I need to use it. So my large straight is span the hammer. I gain two evasive tokens, and I deal seven damage. Uh, of course, it's got to get checked for defense, but I would also like to use my reload. So we also, Ooh. this is a large straight. So wait. Why? How much d damage does your thing do? Seven. Oh, okay. Why? No, I'm just curious if he, if you were trying to just over. You, so don't use it because he's only got six health. I'll lose it. it she gains. She gains. Okay. No it doesn't make a difference one way, one way or the other. So I rolled the six. So rounded is three. Yeah. So ten. So now what's the defense? You get to roll for defense. Yeah. So I need. Oh, I've got him in front of me. So I roll five dice. Okay. You don't want flaming dice here. You didn't get any. Uh, he's going to steal one CP from you. That's r I don't have any. Oh, okay. So he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it, Anne. So that means we're going to get a uh, level two loot. Uh, uh, yep. So, Manny, while you were gone, John uh -huh. W. Smith wanted to make sure to say, sorry to bother you, but your favorite seven-year-old fan, Lizard, says hi. She made me write this. Hi, lizard. <laughs> so do I get loot for not being in the battle? Everyone gets it. Anytime a treasure chest is popped, everyone rolls. Oh, right. yeah. So I'm looting the body from another portal. Sorry. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Got a 13. I have no idea what I got. Four. It's... You rolled a four. C can I reroll it because I can't see it? That's, no. a, that's a rule, right? Josh, what'd you roll? I rolled a six. All right. So let's start <laughs> out with a four. You're going to plus two damage token in. Uh, can I have one of those? Yeah, yeah, that's the third monster Anne's killed. You're absolutely correct. Josh, that's two CP. And then for me, I got us two gold. Oh, I'm at my limit right. of 15. Two gold, Josh. 
Hey, you're at 15. Nice. I was at 14. <laughs> All right. So now, Josh, it is your turn. Oh, my turn. So, Rayom 89, you cannot alter the loot die roll unless an ability or card says you specifically can alter a loot die roll. That's actually a very good question. If we could so wild that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cannot. All right. Um, we need. Uh, I need to get attacked. Because uh, it has first strike. Yeah. Can but I aren't you in the darkness? <laughs> it's still any status effects can stop. Oh, okay. It. I don't know if she has any. I don't think. I don't think there are any on the. Yeah, oh, they, yeah it's none. it's pure damage. Yeah, it's pure so. damage. So, so, so yeah, don't do worry about it then. Just I gained a CP. Yay. And then it went away into the darkness. <laughs> it got absorbed into the darkness. So is this officially Anne carries the team? I'm sorry. I thought I did more damage than Anne. Between all three monsters? Actually, Six. yeah. <laughs> Is that a good roll? Or you, you look uh, like you're no, close to a straight there, Josh. Uh, three, 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 four, six, six. Yeah, that's you. that's close. No. No? Um, I got some loot, which means I can gain more CP, but I don't need more CP. So. Did you see that? Wait, wait. Last hit is all that counts. Uh, uh, more loot. In a... That doesn't do anything for me. He's breathing heavy over there. Deal damage versus body count. Gotta go with the body count. Okay. So I loosen the jar lid for her. I am gonna do dagger strike. Okay. Which I'm gonna deal four damage. Okay. Um, I get to do my sneak attack on top of it. So I'm gonna add uh, five damage to that, so it's nine damage. It's Lord, <laughs> Lord of Ring rules. And I'm also gonna inflict poison. Like Bill Bev DeVoe. Yep. Uh, so what's the defensive roll? Uh, we're going to roll three dice. So Anne, please roll three dice. And you are looking for no bananas. Like that one? That's one banana, so it's going to prevent half the damage. Round it up. So I said nine? Yeah. So it's going to prevent five damage. Okay. So I'm going to do four damage to it. Yep. So they're at four health. Uh, but it's also going to get poison. What does that mean, Josh? A uh, player afflicted with this token is dealt one damage per poison token during the upkeep phase of their turn. Persistent. So they're going to lose one damage at the beginning of all their turns. I can dig it. Um, and that's the end of your turn, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, so it's back to me. Hello, me. Uh, I'm going to go and open up that one portal right next to us there. Alrighty. And let's see what we got. And then we're going to go for that uh, level three treasure coming up soon. Right, Anne? <laughs> you didn't want to bring Josh with you? No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we've got a Mirage. So boss CP plus one, roll one d6. I want to do it. I want to do it. It's mine. I rolled three. Uh, spawn. I was like, that was a bad one. So we're spawning a level one bed. It's a level one though. What? Why are you even wasting my time? I'm definitely not coming with you. All right. So a level one uh, is going to be a satyr. Yours. Yep. Like Passover dinner. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So its ability is going for... It's got 15 health, so it's pretty good in health. Um, it's going to try to roll these combos here for damage. It's defensive roll. Oh, it's on a banana. It's going to inflict knockdown. And So now you it does say three dice, and it shows two. Use the number, not the symbols. I'm sorry, for which, which part here? The defense roll. It says defense roll three dice. Oh, where, okay. And there's only a picture of two dice. Gotcha. Okay. So the number is what you would use in that case. Sounds good. 10-4. So I'm going to go up first. He's got... Oh, thank you for setting the health in. Uh, they've got one CP also. So now I am... Ah, Josh did it. Josh did what? Set the health. Are you... Oh, yeah. thank you, Josh. Welcome. Oh, I got to get all my stuff. So I'm at four combat points. I get to draw a card. I'm upset that the robot's not working tonight. Do you want, would you like me to go fix it? Yeah. I'll be right back, Jack. Thank All right, you. so I am going to play Honorable. Uh, and oh, I really wish that you wouldn't have used your reload. Can I steal one from you? So <laughs> it's going to let me gain two honor. I'm being serious. Can I, can I steal? I don't know. Can I do that? I can do it. How can you do it? Uh, transference. Transfer one status effect go. token from a chosen player to another chosen player. So does this count even though it's in like my thing? Yeah. Yep. Here, have it. Unless, oh, it, it, you know if what? If it's on your hero. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to save this for when Josh gets a sneak attack, and then I'm going to steal it off of him. That's not very cooperative <laughs> of you. Because I don't think I'm going <laughs> to deal 15 
damage. War. Actually, I might. Do you remember that? Eh, other... I'm, I'm going to steal that from you. Okay, but I mean, you get one for free at your turn. Anyway, yeah, but so. ho but hold on. Wow. So this, the revolver. Yeah. The reload. Yeah. Is on my character. So like, I haven't. Like, does this count? Yeah, you earned it. It's it's on your character. Okay. I just want to be sure. All right. Are so solve go. damage enhancements from loot status effects or some other token types? Uh, <gasps> salves are specifically unique. They cannot be removed or transferred. Um, the damage modifier tokens can be removed or transferred because they are considered, they can be removed or wiped by the board or bosses. Drake made an excellent point. He said, remember the wither? It's great to transfer that to the boss. Oh, that's mm -hmm. handy. Oh, cool. I rolled Solemnity. I can? Yeah. It's your favorite one. It really is. <clears throat> so uh, I'm inflicting shame. So shame the satyr. Uh, they're going to get seven damage. And then I'm going to spend two honor to give that plus three to my attack. So that's ten damage. Then I'm also going to spend your uh, reload. Yep. So I roll a d6 and it's half, right? Yep. Round it up. Okay, so I do two additional damage. Okay. So that's 12. I thought I would do a little bit more, but that's fine. So now you Major have Major pain, yes, you could transfer a Hydra head. It wouldn't really do anything, but yeah. <laughs> it would be... You could contribute to the to the defeating of the Hydra. <laughs> so, and uh, can you roll the defense dice for Josh? Sure. What's the... D for Josh? Well, because it's... He's the one that's supposed to be rolling it for me. Oh, sure. Uh, how many dice? Three dice. Okay. And... No bananas, so nothing happens. So they're going to take 12 damage, so they're at 3 health. Manny, are all of the icons on the... One, two, three, four... Is there only one number per on each side of the day sixes, or do the numbers repeat? Uh, number is just 1 through 6. The symbols are what repeat. Perfect. So we can have chat maybe roll a couple of these dice to get in on the game. Yeah. Uh, do we have a D6 set up? Uh, Josh is checking the chat, the, the so dice spot now. Can you roll for Josh again sure. for Seder to attack me? Uh, how many is attack? Five? Uh, it's going to be five attack. So this is what they're going for, just so you have an idea. So you have to try and make it do the damage like that. I got to make the damage do like that? Yeah, that okay. was English. <laughs> Somewhere in there was. Uh, so I got the two bananas. Yes, yeah, so you're going to keep the two bananas and the two slash, and you're just going to re-roll the last one trying to get a flaming dice. Okay. Like, like, that. like that? Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. So that's six damage that that's going to do to me. Yeah. Uh, so I get to roll my defense dice. So I rolled three dice. Yep. I rolled... Ow. Um, a six, a five, and a five. Yeah, six, a five, and a five. So on the six, it's going to prevent two damage. On the two fives, it's going to prevent one damage each. So that prevents four damage. So I'm going to take two damage. Right? Right. Wasn't there shame involved in that or not? Oh, there is a shame involved. Thank you. So it's, it's going to do one damage to me. So Do you still have backstrike? Yes. I do. So I'm going to spend backstrike, and I'm going to roll a d6. Oh, and I only rolled a two. If I were to roll a five or a six, I would have killed it. Oh. So it's going to do one damage to it. So he's at two health. And I really teed this one up for you if you want to come and party. But Add it to my body count? Yeah. Let the bodies <laughs> hit the floor. Thank you. <clears throat> and this is yours too, by the way. Thank you. Back in the bucket. How are you doing, Joshy Bear? Uh, I'll live. How's the, how's the bot doing? It's, it's set up. It's set up? Can you, can you do a roll D6 just as a test? I want to show everybody how this works. So, chat, we have a little interactivity here. You can join along and type exclamation mark roll when I request to die. Or uh, is is it hidden, Josh? Uh, do you have the control over it? It's exclamation mark roll? Yeah. yeah. So, exclamation mark roll. Or there's actually an extension that you can uh, uh, download as well where you can just click a button. It makes life easy. So, you'll see that little timer going down the top. And then once the timer runs out, it'll randomly pull one of the dice that our, our audience has rolled. I love it. All right, so where do you get rid of my controls, Josh? Uh, and they're all the five. Copying so. your uh, oh the reset command. Reset Thank you. Command to the folder. So Anne, it's your turn. Okay, so you want me to come? I mean, you don't have to. You know, I can do it all by myself. Well, the other option is going oh this way. Yeah, but you can't move. I can I can only go to either of you two. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going to go over here. So the other one has first strike, so it'll beat you up by going into it. I gave you, you know, low-hanging fruit the, here. Uh, character sheet? Sure. Of course. So... Matt, Matt, did the defense knock you down or not? It did not. On the stator? Okay. Which is mildly upsetting because I can't sing that song. So <laughs> I am going to do... Where's my turn? Where she? The uh, upkeep phase. So I get my revolver. I get one CP. I need more CP. This is just not enough. And... I think that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Except if you're Josh. And I'm going to get another card. But I don't have any money. Well, one, two, three, four, cards? five, six. These cards. <laughs> I have like a really good card, but it doesn't help me at all because... You've shared with does, everybody the card. She does uh, unavoidable damage. Yeah. After targeting an opponent, I kind of want to get up to at least two CP. So, Manny, can I play a roll phase action card on someone else's roll phase? Depends on which one you're talking about. Uh, not this time. Sure can. Okay. I'm gonna. Because it just says, what's the card say? A chosen player prevents uh, six incoming da damage. Yeah, a chosen player. If that's anyone. Yeah. How much? Six. Oh, I think you said six. You could, you could, you could do that for the boss if you want. Yeah, uh, I'm just <laughs> get help that boss prevent some damage. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, can, can I help the boss not take damage? <laughs> yeah, sure. If you want to, <laughs> I'm gonna let her take her turn, Josh. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. Sp I'm going to sell my double up card. Okay. Which will give me two CP. And now I have two hero upgrades. I think both of Can I are. ask why you would sell it? Major Payne says, I'm using the second best character. Because... If you use it, you draw two cards, uh -huh. and then you could sell the two cards for a net gain. Oh, that's smart, Matt. I wonder who Major Payne's number one okay, character I'm gonna is. Say, but what if these are two cards that I want to keep? <laughs> then that's a good problem to have. <laughs> okay, so I got two main phase action cards. Oh, one zero CP. Oh, this is cool. So you're using this now? Yeah, look at what it is. Vegas, baby. You're going to roll a d6 mm. and then get half the value as CP. Matt, sometimes you have good ideas. Far and few between. <laughs> Thank you. That's five, so you're going to get six CP. Or oh. three CP, sorry. Yeah. Barbarian, best hero in the game. So I had one. <laughs> did, I, did I play as Barbarian when we played? I think you did. I think I did. Yeah, you beat me up with it, I think. I had one. I gained four. I gained three, so now I'm at four. Yep. Uh, cool. Oh, I got the get that out of here. Remove a status effect token from a chosen player. So what's the difference between that and the buy? Yeah, one is an instant action. One is a main phase card. Ah. ah, so one's I kind of am stuck with one. Okay, so can I purchase or use more than one card in a phase, or in the main phase? Like I have. Sure. To, okay. As long as you can afford it. So I feel like. I feel like I should be upgrading my character because I feel like that's important. So showdown two. So this is after targeting an opponent. You each roll a d6. So that's your small straight ability there. Uh, and then you've got take cover, which is going to give you defense. So which one are you doing? Should we do both of them? That's your call. Manny, should we do both of them? Uh, what? That's... I think, I mean... That's the, I mean, it is your choice, depending on how you want to play your hero. It's early game. But I they're feel both like good upgrades. That's a pretty so. good boon. Yeah. Do it. Thank you, Don Iresit22. I love the color purple in art. You guys seem to like purple as well. So. What gave you that impression? <laughs> <laughs> Go for both. The boss is coming. See, that's the kind of decision making I need. <laughs> For my analysis process. Okay, we're doing both of them. So I'm going to spend all four of my CP. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any CP to spend, you can't have any dis decisions to make in future turns. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way. <laughs> okay, so we upgraded Take Cover and Showdown 2. That's the end of my main phase, and now I hit things in the face. That's not your dice. No, I was giving them to oh, okay. you. getting them out of my way so I don't get confused. I'm hitting the two? Yep. Oh, this is oh, so yeah. lame. Matthew... Okay. I, I mean, you could always fail. I only see four dice. Yeah, where's four my dice? other die? Here right it is. There. Let chat roll. My f no, let roll your die. Guys are so lame. I think that is something, isn't it? Uh, this it's is my. Close. No, it's oh, the backwards sorry. again. Uh, but you can just kill it. What do you mean I could just kill it? You've got three bullets. 
I mean, you can Deal try and go damage. for some positive status effects, possibly. Gain but. my evasive. So my positive status effects, are, status effects around here are all gain evasive, and I do have a stack of three for evasive. So what if I tried re-rolling my bullet to get take cover? How much damage? Oh, it also has defense, doesn't it? No. He only will knock you down. He won't prevent any defense. Meh. Okay. I rolled my three and two again. So that is uh, revolver three, which is three damage. Cool. So now he's still going to try to, to defend you because that might knock you down, which means you wouldn't get your attack phase next time unless you spend two CP. And I have zip zero, not a CP. Uh, he rolled a one banana. So yeah, you're knocked down. That's rude. I've got it. Then it's a parting blow. Yeah. That's not nice. He tripped you on the way out. So because you killed him, though, we're going to get a level one loot. Okay. Good job, man. I got 18. I rolled a five. I also got an 18. Have chat roll. I want to know what loot they got. They, they didn't get a loot. Just do it. Oh, boy. No fun. You had them roll a d6, Matt. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, <laughs> I rolled a what did I say? A five. So I'm gonna gain one CP. No, that's level one. Yeah, one CP. So do, 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 do. and you both roll eighteens. So that is you. You're both gonna get green loot cards. Nice. Green loot cards? Yep. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Common that one's loot. for you. Why is that one for me? Why can't you take the first one? Because it's gonna be terrible. Okay, and that one's for me. All right. Okay, and so now I get main phase two, but there's not anything that I want to do. I have four cards in my hand, Don't so I'm good. Chat rolled an 18 also. Oh, no, I was looking at a... That's kind of funny. Regular games. On a D6? Wait, what no. did you do? Oh, you fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Is there a banana loot card, though? Josh, it's your turn. It's my turn. Uh, this thing's going to attack Oh, me. yeah, yes. I First mean, strike. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll dice. Oh, sorry. I have them in my little tray over here. I'm hiding them. Don't worry. There you go. There are no terrible cards. Okay. Uh, I forget what the yeah, issue is. There are, there are no bananas. like trick cards in the loot deck or anything like that. They're all just they're all benefits. Okay. Uh, and the attack is three, right? Three yeah. rolls. Yeah. yeah. Uh, get another banana there. So you got the air, you're going for the Ariel dive. So it's so you can be part of this world. So four. Four. <laughs> not looking at the loot is terribly cruel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks, man. Oh, I, I hid the chat roll. Someone in chat's asking. I, I reset it after a time. Uh, so that's four undefendable damage, Josh. I, I can't take that. I mean, it's undefendable. I, I can still not take it. If he plays a prevent six, he could for sure not take it. Do you really want to prevent it? Oh, your health's kind of crappy right now. Yeah, the, the prevent six... But it's on preventable. It's undefendable. On block, on, but I can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Undefendable this time. only means you cannot roll your defense. That's all undefendable so, damage means. Yeah, so I'm gonna use you... that this time. So I prevent six damage. And I go down the fourteen. Six is greater than four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had eleven health. Not this time. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I have some better cards in my hand that will help me defend better stuff. Now let's see if you could roll better this time, Josh. Okay. How much else does he have? Uh, eight. Uh, four. Oh, oh I'm takes sorry. One damage he takes one damage at the beginning of his turn because of the poison. So now he's got three. And this is for the monster that I just killed. It sure is. Hey, how about that? I'll just kill this over here. <laughs> I love that sound he makes. I got Cardicopia. And I kind of just want to do that. What is it? It lets me draw cards. And I want cards. But you don't get any damage. Don't but I don't do any damage. I feel like then he's going to beat you up more. Save the Shadow Thief. Yeah, if you don't kill it this turn, then I'm going to have to come save you, too. That's I'll true. Anne can come in and save you. Because you... Well, I'm we all get loot, so it doesn't matter. I'm going for that loot over there. Yeah. Then you're going to die with the monster under <laughs> it. Right? Yeah. Josh, just kill it, please. I like that we all get the loot because it makes this whole moment less salty. Yeah. Right, right. Two sixes. <laughs> A one, a two. <laughs> Anne can go save you again. <laughs> Did you get anything there, Josh? And three CP, and I can steal one from the monster. <laughs> On your max CP'd out 
that character. Is really uh, try, try again. I spend one what CP. Are you, what are you rolling stuff for? And I get to do one more roll. He's going for his sixes. We have bosses. I'm fine. All right. Uh, I do three sixes. So I'm going to do uh, two damage. Okay. I'm going to get sneak attacks. Two undefendable or? Uh, pure damage. Okay. The point yeah, was so yeah. into the shadow. The point was that you should have saved those cards until we needed them for our boss fight. He's got low health. He can't take another turn of this thing beating him up. Yeah, I can't. And it's down to one health, so it's going to die at the beginning of its turn because of the poison. Okay. Yep. I never drew a card to be on my turn. Okay, so that's the end of your turn now. So it's back over to my turn. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to go over to that three spot over there. We get the three loot. All right, so we roll that first. There's yep, this. since it's on top, so it's like a stack limit, wait, stack order, right? Yeah. First um, thing you do wait, wait. is roll. Chat rolls. They can roll for me. Roll good. Oh, it was so close to 20, but it was a 10. I got a 6. We're going to wait patiently All right. for my roll. I'd swerve that 3 if it were me. 13. 13. I'm okay with okay, this Okay, so part. Josh, what'd you get? Uh, 6. 2 CP. Oh, I'm back up to 15. Uh, I rolled a 10, so I'm going to gain 4 health. And Anne, you rolled what? 13. 13, you are at 3 health. I'm sorry, that's three, 3 gold. Why do I keep on getting you guys money? Money, 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 money. Money, money. You guys are spending money. zero money. Spending hey, Josh. Oh. I'm at 24 health. I'm at 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm, wouldn't, I shouldn't laugh because now the level 3 baddie's going to flip over. Or the level 3 tile's going to flip over. The purple tile. Have to go save All right, then. so it is ha, Twisted Roots. Get it? Mm -hmm. Twist. <laughs> All heroes are inflected with Entangle. So what's Entangle? Entangle means all you have two roll attempts instead of your normal three. Oh. And when does that go away? At the end of your turn. Okay. So uh, does that mean we also get three gold? Yes, you do. And boss gets plus three CP, and we're gonna get a level three baddie. Okie dokie. And sorry. Ow. Not sorry. No, what, are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out which one you threw at me. That one. Why'd you put it all the way over there? We got. Oh, it's Josh. It's the Oni Baba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's 13 health. So and can I have one of the health trackers, please? Sure. They've got the Allure ability. So roll one d6 and deal undefendable damage equal to the roll value. On a failed offensive roll, inflict silence. So mm. what was that? Silence is not good. <laughs> silence means you lose access to the six on your die face. Oh, that's awful. For one turn. For one round, sorry, one round. That's that's bad. Terrible. And then on a defense, steal one health per banana rolled. This uh, is pretty nasty. Good job, Matt. Have yeah, fun with that. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm glad that I got rid of all of my positive status things, beating up the easy guy last time. That was that was a good move, Matt. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing this. So, I'm upgrading my Budo, mm -hmm. and so that is going to be 2 CP, and that's going to make it so the small straight deals 8 damage, which is pretty darn good, as opposed to 6 damage. All right, so... Now I'm going to attack. Okay, I've got two sixes, a f three, four, five. Ooh, I can go for a straight right here. So I've already got my small straight, which is actually the thing that I just upgraded. Oh, that's good. What does your small straight do? So a small straight now is going to give me one honor and deal eight damage. Ooh. That's really So it's pretty good. swanky. A large straight is going to be seven damage plus a d6, Plus one damage for each sword. So theoretically, you could kill it. Plus hit. shame, plus gain backstrike. That's really good. Okay, so I've got two chances now to get. Oh no, You're I only entangled. have. I only have one more chance. Yeah. Oh, it's a one. It's oh, so close. All right, that's fine. So I am gonna do Budo. So I'm gonna gain one honor, and I'm gonna deal eight damage to Debatty. So uh, Anne or Josh, yes. I'm sorry, Josh, can you roll three dice? Two bananas. He steals two health from me. But uh. does that happen before or after he takes damage? Well, it's not going to kill him, right? So does it matter? Yeah. Well, so it would. It so all damage and effects are accumulated over the course of the phase. 
So the stealing damage happens right now, mm -hmm. and then also the damage happens. So it, in theory, two heroes can kill each other at the same time. Gotcha. Ooh. Due to defense and offense. So. So I don't get. Yeah. That. Okay. So it's gonna. He steals two from me. I'm at 22 health. He's gonna take six damage. So right, he is down. Stealing, yeah. yeah. So he's down to seven. Which isn't too bad. And then in chat they said you still get honor? Yes, I still have my honor token. Yep. So I can spend that to do one additional damage, or I can wait to accumulate another one, and then it does three damage for two. Um, someone's saying to rub my head for luck, so I'm doing it. I don't know if it's going to help. <laughs> um, Chat's saying use your honor. But if you... I don't think I'm going to use it yet. I'm going to try and accumulate one more in the next turn. So, Josh, can you attack... For the Onibaba? Yes. The Onibaba. So why don't we throw this? Okay, so you're going for four bananas. Uh, I got three bananas. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, no bananas. Oh, I get another... Oh, that's right. Hold on. So uh, my passive ability of Bushido is I use less than three rolls, so I gain an honor. Oh, so you do have two honor. So I do have two. So I should just go ahead and spend both of those now. Yes. So reread Bushido. When do you get that second honor? Uh, at the conclusion of your turn. Okay. Yeah. So not yet. Oh. So I have it, but. Uh, five mm -hmm. bananas. Well, it only goes up to four. So Josh, roll a d6. A six. If only Bushido. Uh, sorry, what'd you roll, Josh? Six. Thanks. You're welcome. So it's going to deal six <laughs> undefendable damage to me. Six. Undefendable. The emphasis is on the last syllable. Bull? Doe? Doe. Oh, I thought you were saying she undefendable. <laughs> no. <clears throat> All right, so that's the end of my turn there. So, Anne, do yes. your turn. I'm all in banana, Frank. I'm all in banana. <laughs> I feel like Mandy's now thinking about redesigning the Vortex icon to make them less bad. <laughs> and are you going to come and help me beat up the Onibaba? You mean save you. Onibaba. <laughs> is, he, is he like from Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Onibaba. <laughs> oh, oh that's Anne CP scene. refilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Manny, thank you for being such a good sport. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I also have these extra attack hitties, too. You got one now or two? Two. Two twos. I oh. think you get, there's a limit of only two of those, right? So you might as well start Correct. spending them. Correct. Stack yeah. limit of two. I mean, unless you just kind of one-shot this dude into oblivion right here. But So So what? It, that's where any time, because it goes up to plus four damage, so it's just stack of two of any of those damages. Oh, I can't turn in my two twos for a four? No. That's uh, I don't. I mean... <laughs> Okay. He's changed to Odi Boo Boo. <laughs> no, that's so that's so insensitive. Like these are things. Okay, so my uh, CP went up. I get my reload. I'm yep. going to draw my card for my hand. I have one CP, so that's not much. Oh, hey, I got one of those transference things. Um, I have nice. eat lead. Uh, so you, oh, know what you could do Josh hey. can. You can transfer Josh's sneak attack over to you. Well, but look, I also have get that out of here. Get that out of here. Remove a status effect from a chosen player. Oh, so I lost my entangle. Yeah. So I don't have that anymore. So should I not? I don't think you need to get rid of that. You're really low on CP. I, what he's saying is he thinks you should reserve your CP for now and save that potentially for a more useful status effect to get rid of. You can get rid of Josh's Thanks, sneak attack. Josh. Why do I want to get rid of Josh's sneak attack? To teach him a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could steal my shadows if you want. That's what he with the train, but I don't think so. I think I want to save that one I for something more important. I think you could kill this. Oh, guy. I still have knockdown. Oh yeah. yeah. So you have to pay two CP in order to take your offensive role. So phase. you could sell a card to get an additional CP. So you could. There you go. I don't know if I really want to sell any of these cards. Oni Bob is gonna beat you up then. I think it's worth it to get rid of one card so that way you can kill him in one turn. This guy's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. And you get your shame token back. Shame. Shame. Ding -a -ling -a -ling. It's not stealing. It's borrowing without permission. <laughs> so, Anne, just... Uh, isn't 
Oh no, you're still. This is the one that dies next turn. Yeah, just just sell a card. What card should I sell? I don't know what you have in your hand. Here's what I have in my hand. Uh, this one. <laughs> it's not a good way to make decisions. Uh, that's that one. Mm-hmm. Uh. I have pretty decent I'd cards. Say, I'd say get rid of the bye-bye. Which is the immediate... The get that out of here. Why? Because it's more expensive. Yeah, but this is... A, a, this is use any time. Yeah. Or get rid of That's the transfer. Show us, show us the hand. I would, show, okay. okay. They're saying show us the hand. I would not so want to get... So she's got <laughs> a bye-bye. She's got a transference. She's got a get that out of here. She's got an eat lead. And she's got a one more time. Music's got me feeling so free. That's so you and you have to sell one in order to take your turn. Is that what's yep. happening? Yeah. yeah. I feel like transference would probably be the best thing to get rid of here, because it's just transferring one effect from one person <laughs> to another. Whereas like removing an effect would be more. But transference is like I could transfer a bad thing from one of us to a boss. That's true. I thought that was a really good strategy. Sell the one more time. Ah, that's probably a good one. Yeah. The one more time. Yeah. yeah. The reroll one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just roll better. There you go. <laughs> She's you, actually Andy been Lenny. rolling really well tonight. So yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I had two, <laughs> and then it all went away to get rid of the knockdown. Cool. So that... <laughs> Eat lead, because I don't know. <laughs> Did you want the other two that were also <laughs> in here? Those are, those are yours. So it's it's actually pretty uh, moved around. Like, a bunch of people are voting for different things, but I'm seeing a lot more of the one more time. Never get rid of chance. Yeah. Lines. Okay. So remember, you get two rolls here. All right. So this... <laughs> You got wait, hold on. You got a large straight. Do I really? Yeah. One, two, three, two, four, five. No. It's, Boom. There's one, no two, ones. Three, three. Oh, I thought that was a one. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you can re-roll the, the three and you've got an You got a small straight right now at least. Yeah. One or six. No nope. two. two. Poopy. That was close. But what's the small straight doing? So my small straight, which is one of the ones that I upgraded, is where we do the roll off with the D sixes map. Yeah, I need the baddie dice. No, I don't want to do D6. I want to roll against chat. Okay, they're rolling. Okay, so we're going to roll off chat. Roll. <laughs> yeah, what do you roll there? She rolled a one. They rolled a three. Okay, <clears throat> so what does that do if you lose, Anne? So I still deal six damage. Oh, okay. Um, Do you want to use your reload so I, that way... I do <laughs> definitely want to do that. <laughs> Rolled another one. That's so what it's I seven get. damage. It's only got seven health. Oh, so terrible. So I need the baddie dice still. Yeah. Here are the baddie dice, Matt. Okay. He's going to steal one health from you. That's fine. So you did how much damage, Jen? You can use your other reroll and yeah. try to kill him. Yeah. He's got one health left. Okay, so I'm going to use the reload again. Two. Okay. Which is one so he, hit he, health. He, he still would have died either way because he only had one health left. But he's dead. Yep. yep. Okay. So you killed get? the Onibaba. So I added something to the body count again. Yep. Uh, because I did most of the damage. So we're going to get a level <laughs> three reward. So roll a d20. <laughs> so oh, I rolled a five. Do you want them to roll it for yes, you? Yes. I would like you guys to roll my d20 for me, please. And thank you. Oh, I rolled a four. Please roll a 20. I don't think you're going to get a 20. 16. That's pretty good. So, Josh, what'd you get? I got a 5. I got a 4, so I'm going to get a <laughs> plus 3 damage token. Josh, you're going to get plus 2 CP. <laughs> he needs a plus 3 damage token. He's just upset that. Yep, I know. <laughs> so, Anne, you rolled a 16. Sure did. That's plus 3 gold. Oh, Thank you for the money, Anne. Thanks for the money, Anne. I can't wait to spend all this money and you guys get to spend none of it. That's not how it works. It is? <laughs> Exactly how that works. All righty. Uh, so, Josh, it's your turn. Uh, Masha goes first. Oh, uh, he sure does. First turn. He takes one damage uh, with poison. And he dies. And he dies. Yeah. But that ends your so, turn, right? So you don't move? So, Josh, here's something fun. Yeah. Because engagement started, you still get your entire turn. What? Awesome. But he doesn't get to move or anything. But so he gets his. No, he can't move. He's still on the tile. But you get, the, you get income, draw a card. You can roll for an ability. So he's going to go into the I darkness. Want, I want Cartopia. That's all I want. Yep. And I got a bunch of daggers and a shadow. You stabbed the dead monster. What do you need for Cartopia? 
Uh, I need my card icon, which is a five. I got one five. Don't you have entangles? To, oh, yep. So I have entangled, so I can't roll anymore. You get entangled so. even though you weren't on the block with us? Yep. Yeah. Yes. But now we're no, all no longer entangled. That's true. Um, yeah. But Josh, because you killed him, we get a level two reward. Sweet. Come on, chat. Roll me a good... Hopefully you get some more CP, Josh. I know. I really I really use it. Uh, 14, <laughs> um, I think I got us some money. That's a re-roll, right? <laughs> that's a re-roll. <laughs> the, the die is standing on edge because I rolled it in between two things. Poison. Sorry. No. Yeah. You're so lucky they didn't fall off the table. 18. That was a good roll. And they rolled an eight. An eight. So, Josh, what did you roll? I rolled a 14. All right. So, an eight is going to be, and you get two cards. Oh. Four cards. Two. Josh, you got a 14? Yeah. That's two gold. Two common. Wait, what? Which cards? Two of my two, cards. Two, two cards, cards, yeah. <laughs> and then. Yep, draw two cards. I'm going to get a green loot card. Hey. Give me that loot. Give me a green loop. Here. Do not look at it. It's secret. Can I look at the back of the card? Keep it secret. Keep it safe. All right. So, Josh, good job. Yeah. All right. So it's my turn. I'm going to go right up. You <laughs> didn't let me down. We got two cards. Yeah, let me up. Sure. Where are you going? Oh. What about all this stuff over here? Yeah, so he doesn't care about that. He... Josh will take care of that. Come on. Any day now. Ugh. All right, so we've got the Stained Spire. So we each get a gold. <coughs> Boss CP plus three. We don't you may receive two damage to reveal an adjacent tile. If desired, you may move to that tile as if you had explored it. Do it. I don't want to do that. Do it. No. Do it. It's thematic. No, that's horrible. You're sh full of shame. It's thematic. No. Do it. I'm not taking two damage. It is. It's 16. Just do it. You've got 16 health. No, thank you. No baddie spawn. It's <laughs> fine. Move me up one space. Oh, keep me there. It's your turn, Ann. Go do it. No. Do we all get to choose to do this? No, nope, it's just the main character. You're so lame. So, Ann, where are you going? Everyone's saying take the damage. Yeah. <sighs> why would I like? <laughs> but why would I do it though? Because there's stuff on the other tiles. Okay, so Matt, here's the reason you would do it. Yeah. When you reveal the level two tile. If you choose not to go to it, let's say it's really bad. There's like a big bad monster and crazy crap happens. Yeah. So if you reveal it and you're like not going there, then that tile expires. Oh. So all effects on the tile do not happen. Now, let's say it was a good one. If it was a good tile and you're like, oh, man, I do want to go there. Now you can go and you've now explored two tiles during your turn instead of just one. <sighs> I got guilted into it. All right. Go ahead and let's reveal that, too. So it is the Thorn Road. So roll a d6. On a 1 to 2, gain Entangle. On a 3 to 5, Barbed Vine. And on a 6, you gain 2 gold. What's Barbed Vine? That doesn't sound good either. Barbed Vine is not great. Um, you get one roll with Barbed Vine, and every additional roll you take, you take one damage for it. So I think it's going to expire. I'm g Yeah, I'm going to not go there. Thanks. Right. So then all the effects on the tile do not happen. Boss doesn't gain CP. You don't roll a die. Nothing. I told you it was a good idea to do that. God, I hate you so much. Yeah, <laughs> where are you going? So you're 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 getting right down to the end. Go, go. So go. the boss is one of those three spaces. So, but what's They're the randomly shuffled. <clears throat> what about doing the stuff over here? It's just like side quest stuff. Yeah, okay, but look, I play RPGs, and the point of doing RPGs is to do all the side quests first. We'll get right. some more loot. Which so you'll notice the boss has acquired CP, right? How much yeah. CP does he have? Uh, the boss is at 21 CP, so the longer we take, the more right. CP he gets. So, yeah, so the CP is going to be used. When you find the boss, the boss is going to level up according to the amount of CP he has. Mm. So he's going to level up. He's going to spend as much CP as he can to level up his entire board. Okay. So now if you cho you can choose to grind. Like we actually, Nate and I, when we play, we will often grind the board and be okay with the fact that maybe we don't fight the boss at the end. Maybe we f we run away and re replay again. But it's kind of like each raiding party gets to kind of decide how you want to play. Oh, we're fighting the boss. <laughs> Drake said 21 <laughs> yes, isn't that bad. for this ba demo... Isn't that bad For right this, now. you totally want to fight the boss. Do it, Ann. You only need to stop at unexplored or... Okay, fine. All right. Let's... So you go right to the three. All right. So what are we getting? Don't look at it. The solarium. Don't look at it. Just look at Three it. Three gold. 
Pause CP plus three. And then all heroes are inflicted with blind! Yay. Blinded me with science. We're blinded by the light. <laughs> so, blind means that when you have finished your offensive roll phase and you're about to deal damage, you have to do a blind check. On a one or two, your turn fails completely. How do we get rid of this? And then blind goes away at the conclusion of a turn where you attempt to where you do damage. Gotcha. <laughs> so it'll it only lasts for a turn. Lojack singing with us. Wait, so at the conclusion of a turn where you do damage, so if you get affected by blind, you keep it or uh well right now you're affected by it. So if you if you fail to uh activate an attack, then you would keep it. Oh, that's mean. Okay. So we get a level three baddie. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right. Uh, let's see what we get here. Come on. Come on. And we got the Goblin Enchanter. Yay. It's cute. Like, ugly cute, but still cute. 13 health. He's got... <laughs> uh, Josh, can you say that? Uh, Ensorcel? It's probably right. Ensorcel. There yep. we go. Ensorcel. So deal three undefendable jam damage. Your opponent discards two cards randomly. Ooh, Ooh that's mean. You guys can have fun with them. I don't have any cards. So That's and then his defense, he's gonna deal damage back to you and inflict poison on you potentially. Old one eye. Old one. Eye. It's cute, but not nice. So thirteen health. So we're gonna want to go in and beat this guy up relatively quickly. So, uh, Anne, you yeah. get to deal with him. That's rude. Okay, so it's the beginning of my turn, so I'm gonna gain my reload and a CP. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Yep. Real pretty. Yes, I did draw that on a live stream. That's, that that goblin. Did you really? Um, I do. Yeah. So I do art live streams occasionally, oh, and I awesome. take like forty-five minutes or an hour, and I drew that. So nice. you could give me like forty-five days, and I wouldn't come up with anything that looks like that. <laughs> um, I only have one CP. Keep you can sell stuff. Keep it. Oh, that's true. I'm doing an art live stream tomorrow. What time? Um, it'll probably be hero related. I believe it is oh now i'm blanking on when i'm doing my own live stream <laughs> <laughs> um I'll, I'll 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 find it here i think it's i want to say it's seven o'clock i mean it's whatever time you want it to be really i well i think we already announced it so oh, I think okay. It's 7 but... uh, okay so i'm going to sell get out of here 7 p.m pst yeah and then i'm going I'm way on the other side That'll give me. That'll put me up to two CP, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna spend the two CP on that. So you're gonna triple up. Yeah. So you're gonna draw three cards. Two, three. Oh, I got that Samesies card and the Not This Time card that you guys like. Change the value of one every day and a six it. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. You got some good cards. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sell something though. So Manny, where are you streaming um, that? Your art thing. Uh, I will be streaming it on our Dice Throne Facebook page. Awesome. Oh. Can I want that for the boss? I was gonna say, should I, could I spend the bye bye? I need CP. Something else to keep in mind is that if he hits you, which he probably will, you're gonna discard two cards randomly. So what if I use the prevent incoming six incoming damage? Does that negate the hit? No, that negates the damage. It doesn't negate that effect. Okay. I like a lot of this. Okay, this one is an attack modifier. When I spend a reload, I may reroll the die one time and do one additional damage. It's good, but not great. But not great. As it's not, it's good, but it's not as good as the rest of the stuff. Also, this one is spin the chamber, which is gain a reload. One, two, so three. So for everyone watching at home, this is a prime Four, example five, of analysis paralysis and work right here. Dang, <laughs> Skippy. So that brings me back up to two CP. Which is good. I like. I think I like these. Look at these new attack modifiers that I got. You got nice. the the not this time six incoming damage prevent the same Z's, which is pretty awesome, and then the six it, which is pretty awesome as well. Yeah. So you got you got some good ones there, Anne. And those are only one CP to use those. Yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. So now I have two CP in case I need to use them. Attack. I'm getting there. Beat it up. Attack the darkness. Okay. So now I'm going to roll my. So, one, th why do I always do this roll? Three bullets, two dashes. Yeah, man. Um. What are you going to go for? 
What does blind do? So um, I, th you roll a d6 after you attack, and then on a one or two, your attack does no damage. Okay. Okay, but transfer the blind. Oh, that's true. You can you can transfer the blind over to him. Correct. And then you don't have to worry about you not getting it. Do I want to transfer now, or do I want to hold it? I mean, you're going to lose the blind at the end of this turn probably anyways. No, 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 no. Do I want to use this transference card for this minion, or do I want to hold it for the big baddie? That's on you. I want to try and hold it. Then hold it. It's also a main phase only, and you started your roll phase. You're rolling everything? Yeah, I, so, um, what am I going to roll? I'm going to re-roll. Oh, I got One, the thing. Yep, you got the other thing. This is the thing that's actually a <laughs> so thing. So what this is, is take cover two. So I gain evasive and deal six damage. I'm okay. okay with this. That's good. So if she evades the attack, does she also evade that discard then? I just gain the... Uh, no. no. Evasive only stops incoming damage. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gaining my evasive token... Okay. The other option is that I could do the mark the target, which is gain two evasive and inflict bounty, but it doesn't do any damage. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Did you check that. for blind, or did you transfer that? No, I, she didn't check for blind yet. Okay, so now you would check for blind before you get too excited about all those fun things. I rolled a two. Yep, so you... Uh, so your you, turn failed. You don't do anything. Unless you play a card like a six-it or some card like that to fix your dice. Should I do that? You're gonna lose two cards randomly anyway, so you might lose it. That's probably a good point. Alright, I'm gonna roll I'm gonna use the six it card to make it a six. Okay. So you hit it anyways, you lose your blind token. You're gonna uh I need to roll defensive dice for him. What's his defensive dice? Uh he's just gonna attack you back. So I rolled Oh, you got poison, Ann. That's poopy. I didn't do any damage to you, but you got poison. But now you can transfer the poison. Yeah. Because you've got a main phase right now. But you don't have enough CP? But you can sell cards. No, I have oh, two CP. Oh, but first, first he's going to make you randomly discard two cards. From his... Oh, no, that's I'm sorry. That's his, his attack, attack that does that. Yeah, yeah you're fine. Um, so, wait, he attacks first before she gets her second action. No, she gets her full action. Oh, yes, she gets her yeah. full action? Okay, yeah. sorry. She, gets, she takes all her turn, all the parts of her turn. So, I have two CP. Yeah. And I can do the transference. Well, you yeah. spent one for the six-it, right? Yeah, you just oh, spent one for the right. six-it. Never mind, I only have one. So, you could sell a card to get a CP so you can no. move the poison. How much health does he have? Oh, so they're saying save it so you can transfer the poison to the boss. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, what, did I, what did I hit him with? Uh, he took all six damage. Yeah, he took all six damage. But it was his he 13, 13, so he's at seven. Yeah. And I got evasive. Oh, could I have done the evasive? No. It was yes, you could. Well, no, no, that's... Well, no, for what? He didn't attack her yet. Oh, right. So now I could do well, like claim the evasive. Do I have to do it before you roll the thing? No, you no, would see right. if I do damage first. Okay. I rolled all the slashes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that and that. Can you? Then I re-roll these three. Still no bananas. So I just don't want two bananas here. One banana, but not two bananas. Who does nothing? Okay, so I don't need to be worried okay. about the defa the evasive. Yep. You don't discard cards. You could evade the defense damage if you wanted to. But you took a status effect, not yeah. actual damage. Yeah, you yeah. didn't take damage. So you're fine. Okay. All right. My turn? Yep. Collecting that loot. We got a level one loot. All right. So, chat, you can go ahead and roll for Ann. Cause oh, yeah. What'd you roll? Big roll right there. What'd Big natural roll? one. One. Oh. I got 16. Where's that loot? Hold your horses there. All yeah, right. I got a four. So you rolled a one, Josh? Yep. That's going to be a plus one damage. Well, I mean, four? It's... That's a plus two damage. I can't. Thank you. I rolled a 16. That's two gold. You're welcome, guys. I oh. said you're welcome, guys. Could I have used my plus two attack modifier? Yes, you could have. Yeah, you, you could Can have. I do it now? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Cool. And then we'll just say I got the two back. Yep. I like this. Yeah. All right. So that's <laughs> he's at five health. Okay. All right. So... We are now moving into the vault. Boss CP plus one. Hero CP plus one. 
gain one uh, green loot. Alternatively, roll a d6 on a 1 through 3, gain nothing. On a 4 through 6, gain a level 2 loot. <gasps> That's your call, Josh. Better loot for the win. It's a 2. We get nothing. <laughs> Unless you've got like a 6 it or something. He can't use it on these rolls, can you? No, nope, you're not in a roll phase right now. Oh. Yeah. Manny said unless I mean, the card specifically said. I have some stuff that says I can you, use it you, now, but I'm not. You could use a tippet. Uh, nothing that I care to use that much. Okay. Yep. All right. So, Josh. Oh, you're going to level one baddie? So, put Josh over in his base. And we've got the Chaos Elf. He's got 13 health, 1 CP. He's going for straights, and uh, he's got a defense roll of 2 bananas to prevent half damage. All right, so Chaos Elf. Oh, I need another health tracker, please. Oh, I got my income phase, so I'm going to grab a card. What are you look I'm getting... Give me the health tracker. <laughs> putting it up. Doesn't help. Are you going to beat him up, Josh? Yeah, I haven't got any of my upgrade cards yet, and I'm just a little frustrated. Uh, you are? Did you get your card, Topia? Cardicopia? Yeah, I did. Finally. But now you don't want it. Cause you got to fight. What does he do? I want to see the internal oh, okay, struggle. I'm just gonna. You're just gonna what? I'm just gonna grab cards. That's a lot of cards. Four cards. Oh, that was a card. Four cards. Blind still go. Does blind go away now? Cause it's been a turn. Oh, you still check for blind. Cause you're at the conclusion of your offensive roll phase. I rolled a three. You're fine. I'm You're good. Drawing four cards. Yep. Oh, they, so they were asking. Um, it's hard to gauge how much table space does the game need. So, Give uh, me one second, Matt. There you go. So this is our. What's oh, also our green screen? We're ruining the magic here, but yeah. So that that's how much table space the game requires. And I think Manny made it a point in the beginning that this was not all of the components for the game. Although, I mean, we also kind of have. When you're playing the game itself, the 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 world map, the the environment layout, will change. It'll be different shapes, different sizes, um, and also there is a tray system that will house all the minions, all the loot cards. Um, in it, you so you can put one tray on the table, and it will hold everything. Do you all the, the all the tiles and loot cards and stuff. Do you have the dimensions for the tray? Uh, it's effectively the same as the bottom of the season two box. Like uh, the the battle chest is basically the size of this box. Okay, it's in three dimensions. So the tray is is roughly twelve by six ish. Nice. So 12 by 6, and you'll hold all the minions, all the uh, decks of cards, the loot, and extra tiles. Josh, you're getting attacked now. All five uh, of them? Um, it's the my turn. I'm upgrading. Uh, my counter strike is going to level 2. My shadow defense is also going to level 2. That's 7. What does that do? One's his defense. And they're one... both defense. Oh, they're both defense. He's got So he's weird. He's got two defense cards. So shadow defense here is uh, roll five dice on two swords inflict poison on he's got weird symbols on it sneak attack two of them you can sneak attack and go into the shadows immediately and then this one is deal two damage for times oh geez two damage times the number of swords and on a sword and that thingy you inflict poison so, so that's nasty Frank asked an important question we were talking about that before is dice throne adventures a standalone expansion or do you need the base um and so manny you and i were talking about this before it is not standalone however as part of the kickstarter there is a pledge level which will allow you to get everything you need to play the game yeah so you only need two heroes like if you you can get dice throne adventures and a two hero box or in the kickstarter you can get season one or season two with dice throne adventures uh, cool. last i'm playing get paid which gets me two cp so okay. I'll back up to 10. Nice. Okay, so now you're going to get beat up. When you're part yeah. of a team. Roll. All five? Yep. So you're going for straights. Okay. So, so three, four, five. 
And I'm going to reroll this four and five. Mm -hmm. Five, a, one. Yeah. Reroll both. That's good. You don't want to get it. One, four. So you don't get a straight. Cool. No damage. Perfect. Uh, yes, the we're, there are not sleeves for the minion cards, but it does hold sleeve loot cards and boss cards and stuff like that. Well, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to go rescue Anne. What? You heard me. You do it. All right, so. Yeah. So. Buttons. <laughs> All right, so four, four... Two six. Did you get your CP? Oh, and thank you. I your, didn't. Yeah. Your card and all that. No, I got very into things here. Okay. Just went into the attack. He wants to fight. He wants to fight. Focus. All right. So two four 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 six. That doesn't look like anything. To Church me. nerd's funny. Or buy it all and die a happy puppy. I might steal <laughs> that. The princess is in another castle, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna stick with that. I got solemnity again. <laughs> this is your favorite role. It really is, wow. but I have to check for blind. I rolled a one. I'm blind. Manny, what's your favorite season three champion? Cho is asking. Uh, season three champion? Oh well, uh, the redacted hero is definitely my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone help me change this one? Uh, I have a tip it, which makes it a two. I have a tip it also. <laughs> you could double tip it. Yeah. <laughs> Just because then it would kill this guy and he's not going to do a bunch of stuff to us. How much do we want to spend for him and how much do we... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Yeah, don't do it because the most he's going to do is three damage to me. Okay. And then discard two cards. I've only got one card in my hand, so I'm <laughs> not really... It? Yeah. If you only have the tip... Well, because it does nothing? Because of one to two does nothing. So it doesn't even matter. If you play Josh would need to spend his also. So I'm going to lose this probably either way. So that's the other thing to think of. So do we want to spend one? Do we want to spend Josh's tippet to do that? That's on Josh. Well, I don't think it's okay. Worth it. That's fine. Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. So I lose my blind token at least. That's fine. Um, it's fine. Yeah. And <laughs> so salty. So then he's gonna beat me up. That's an entangled token. Where's your blind token? That was a blind. I threw it here too. The entangled was there also. So Josh, can you please roll the dice? And this is what you're going for. Uh, does he have a defense? Roll? Yeah, but I didn't hit it. I missed oh. the attack. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh one banana, two banana, and a slash. We just need a flaming die. We no. don't need a flaming die. No flaming die. No I'm okay. Flaming die. Cool. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. We need a dragon champion? We do because that's my <laughs> mascot in the show. Dragon. That would be pretty cool. It would be awesome. Um, uh, Dragoon. Someone oh. said, "What's my favorite uh, enemy. enemy?" Yeah. My favorite enemy is one that has not been shown yet. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Josh, you are cheap. I don't. <laughs> I, I need my CP to do mass damage. One. It's one. You get that for free at the end of your at the beginning of your next turn. One banana, two banana, blue banana, red banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're done. I'm not stepping on anything. Stepping on what? Your turn. Oh, no. I, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, so my CP goes from one to two. I get a reload token, which is somewhere in here. And you take a poison damage. I take a poison damage. Can't forget that. I would like to. <coughs> and I get to draw a card. And I draw twice as wild. Ooh, that's a good one. We will not be using that for this boss. I think I want to use this eat lead one when we get there. <laughs> Keep it, man. I have some pretty good cards. Oh, I could do my baba. I could spend both of my CP and do the baba and get rid of my poison. How many? H this guy's got thirteen. Oh, yeah, but you already took your damage for it. So we were talking about you keeping that so that we can transfer it to the boss. <sighs> do I keep it after this fight? Yeah. Yep. It just stays it's with in me? perpetuity, right? No, yep. you. Do you have the whole? Oh, status yeah, sheet? I sure do. Okay. Manny um, says yes. He's so this. Uh, this one is five? Yep, it's persistent. Five health? Yep. Yes, he's at five health. Okay, so that's fine. That's the end of my main turn, and oh now... yeah, that's how I killed you with the paladin. I stacked poison on you. Yeah. And I didn't have a effect <laughs> removal, I think, or something like that. Or I couldn't get the effect <laughs> removal. Okay, I can do most of that. <laughs> get it? No. Three ones. Oh, that's weird. Four bullets, though. What does four bullets do? 
Uh, four bullets deals four damage. Mm, I have reload. He's got five health, and you can reroll that six twice to try and get another bullet. That gives me only five damage. He's got five health. He's got five health. He doesn't... I don't think he blocks damage. And you have a reload action, so you, you would kill him. Yeah, he doesn't block any damage, by the way. Oh. All right. That didn't do, do what I wanted again, it to do. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah! Five damage! One, two, three? That's not enough for us. There's no fours with a bullet? Nope. No, it's a thing. It's one, twos, okay. and threes. Uh, so that is deals four damage. Five damage. Kidding. Deals five damage. And doesn't block damage. <laughs> But so he, he still rolls his defense. Because it's done simultaneously. Simultaneously. Okay, so I'll move my things out of the way. And uh, let's see. One, two, three. He's dealing three damage to you, Anne. Put in the thing so I can oh, see. Oh, you could use an evasion token if you would like. Tip it 10%. It's the nice thing to do. So it's three damage it's doing to you. So you could use an evasion token here to try and dodge that yep. if you want. That sounds like a great idea. So um, I have three dodge uh, evasion tokens, and I only have a stack limit. So I'm going to roll a d6. Two. You dodge it. Yeah. So You cool don't take story, damage. Man. Cool story, hey. bro. Uh, so he dead. He did. And then we get a level three. Loot. Please roll me really high. And then, could I have the five one? I'll just put it in my thing. <laughs> Good job, man. What'd you roll, Josh? I rolled an 11. I rolled a 14. Roll big, roll big. 15. 15! All right, so an 11 on a level three is two gold. Okay. Then I rolled a, what did I roll, 14? Yep. I got three gold and got three gold. So we got uh, eight gold. What? Right, 33 gold. We're rich. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Way to carry the party. Is that another monster that I killed after you said you were going to come save me? Yep. Okay. All right, my turn. Yep. I was blind. Couldn't help it. <laughs> Bli were you blinded? By the light. Because you decided to make us stare into the sun. <laughs> you, like, held my face at it. And you're just like, look at its beauty. <laughs> Why didn't you help? Do you see the solar flares and the oh, corona? Yeah. It's a lot of sixes right there. Three sixes off the bat. That's not a bat. That's a die. He should save Anne more. Four Makes sixes. the game much easier. Oh, 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 I rolled a five. I'm playing dip it. I thought you needed your CP, Josh. I gained three CP by doing this. Okay, I'll give you that one. All right, uh, Shadow Shank. Won't work. Uh, gained three CP. So I'm at 13. Plus five, so I do 18 damage. If he goes into this boss this fight... This is why I let him go and off and do his own things off on the side. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I do 18 damage, Matt. Okay, he's got 13 health. Uh, it's it's an ultimate, so he can't use his defense dice. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, nope. he just takes it like a champion. So he's dead. Yep. We had a level one loot. Good job, Josh. He's, he's dead. He did. Uh, I rolled a nine. Roll big, roll big. Oh, 20! How bad? I got two. That's the second 20 you rolled today. Yeah, I wish it was on the level three loot. <laughs> for all these ultimates on minions instead of the boss. Uh, oh, I would have plenty for the boss. Was uh, it 16? So, uh, Josh, what'd you roll? I rolled a nine. It's nine? You got one health. <laughs> oh, I need health. And I'm got a 16? That. That's two gold. Oh. And I got a blue loot card. So I got a rare loot card. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. There you do. Could have got an orange loot if I did it on the level three. That would have been cool. All right. So, Josh, that's the end of your turn. <laughs> Buy Skrillex self. <laughs> purple Lamborghini. Here what? we go. Yeah. Oh, that's the purple gold. The purple loot. Yep, we're getting the level three loot. All right, roll. This is where we need to roll the 20. I rolled a seven. That's not a 20. A one. <laughs> that's terrible. Good I job, Matt. I don't feel super bad because you just rolled a 20. I kind of... 20! Yay! All right, so I get a plus two damage marker. So, Josh, can I get that, please? Wait. Uh, Josh, what'd you roll? I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven. That is two cards. Ooh, nice. And, and you get an orange. You get a legendary <gasps> loot. Look, Twitch and I 
No, man. This was all you. It's Twitch and I. We, we got it. We I got rolled this. a 20 in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right. So, Josh, you happy with your cards? Oh, yeah. Good. I upgrade to my Shadow Dance. I hope this is the boss. And uh, the boss is one of the other three. It is the Citadel. Ooh. So, blo boss plus three, hero plus three CP. So, that's pretty All swanky. heroes choose and discard half their cards, round it up, then draw one. I have one card. And I draw one. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> I have so many good cards, and you're making me discard half of them. Round it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to discard three. I have to discard four. I discarded one. I feel your pain. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you a lot. Alrighty, so I need a level three baddie when you get a chance, Anne. Okay. Aren't you glad you got all that card draw, Josh? Oh, this is Anne. I choose to discard no card. <laughs> the Wailing Banshee. On a That's interesting. Day. She only goes for rolling flaming dice. Yep. But she oh, it's dealt to all players engaged uh, with the Wailing Banshee. Uh... Uh, so she's got 14 health. And if you can set that up, please. Uh, and 2 CP. I'm going to give it to you because I'm just not done with Oh, look at cards. that. If she rolls a 6 on her two defensive dice, ignore all damage. I want eat lead. I want not this time. I want twice as wild. All right. So she's kind of mean. The other health away, Matt. What? You have two health tiles. So. Oh, because you killed the one. You exploded him. Yep, I exploded them. Exploded. All right, so now I'm going to gain a CP. I'm going to draw a card. And... Oh, that's good. Kind of. Maybe. Um, all right, so now I'm going to attack. Okay, I need a vote. What? Do I keep samesies or not this time? I don't know. I would keep samesies. It's a lot of swords, Matt. It is. I rolled four swords. So that's six damage right Keep there. Same Z's. And she's got 13 health. 14 health. 14 health. If I roll one more sword, it deals seven straight damage. I and then I can... I could one-shot her. Potentially. Oh. So I have plus five in damage tokens. Plus I've got three damage in honor. Okay. That I can do. As so long as she doesn't... Her defense die... Yeah. Doesn't. So that's the problem is that the defensive die potentially is going to be pretty mean. So uh, the question is how much health I have, and I have 18. But I have a lot of people saying keep samesies. I feel like she's not going to – like it's going to be hard for her to roll those sixes. So I'm not going to bother with it, though. So – oh, I rolled my sword. So I rolled five swords. Don't you get something since you only used – Yes, I get an honor token technically at the end of my turn, so I might as well use one honor token now. Well, first she has to roll for defense. So how many dice does she roll well, for defense? Well, I, I use the honor token, and then it, it adds to my attack. You can use the token after she rolls defense. Oh, okay. You don't have to... Oh. Yeah, de definitely see the defense first. Gotcha. How many cards? I'm rolling two, two for defense. Just two. Yeah! No exploding dice. So she didn't do and nothing happens there. So, so I do boost the heck out of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna boost it then. So that's seven. I'm gonna spend two honor tokens. So I get plus three. So that's ten. I might as well. I'm gonna spend my two damage tokens. She's dead. One shot. It. Boom! Nice. Yeah. Okay. She did. She did. So she doesn't deal any damage to any of us because she would have attacked all of us. Just for well, she would attack whoever's there. Yeah, that's true. And I'll put that there you go. And so we get a level three loot. You killed a monster. Yeah, it feels good. Dot JPEG. That's right. I rolled a five. Best Banshee, dead Banshee. I rolled a five. Five, five buddies. Yeah. Come on, chat. Roll a five. Nerds. Roll a five. Roll a five. Way to go, Idaho. 16. Yay! A lot of 16s today. Yeah. Uh, so a five for both of us is going to be gain two CP. So, Josh, we both gained two CP. Oh, yay. Are you at max? Yeah, I've been at max. Yes. <laughs> and so then, Anne, you rolled a 16. Three gold! Thanks, Anne. 
Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Anne, it's your turn. Okay. Time for you to go find the boss. Yeah, one in three chance, Anne. That's 33%. like 80%. It's not an 80%. Which are you going? Uh, left. To the left, to the left. It is the pensive pool. Oh. <laughs> so, gain four boss CP. You may choose to pay one CP to heal three. Or pay three CP to heal all players three. So, question, do I get my one CP from the turn phase first? No. You do not, because they're not engaged in a, in a, in a battle. Uh, Does anyone have a card to give her plus CP instantaneously? No. No. I only have two CP. So you can heal yourself for three? You can. Yep. That's still good. And I'm going to. <laughs> and I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I was kind of hoping that. Oh, I... but no, no baddies, show up. Yep. That was a quick turn. So in. that's. Yeah, but I'm sad that it made the bosses uh, thing go higher. So does she still get her her thing now, where she's drawing cards and? Nope. There's no battle, so okay. there's no. You don't enter a normal dice thrown turn, which means you don't get income, but it also would mean you wouldn't take poison because you're not getting the upkeep phase. That's good. And I can't pay the CP because it's not my turn. Correct. It's only the active player. Uh, um, so it's my turn. I yep. guess I'll go for the spot where Matt closes the map. You don't, you don't want to go there? You want to keep doing on the, the side quests? No, I'm, I'm going to look for this boss with you guys. Okay. The one here? Yep. <laughs> it is the town center. I'm going to shift this over. Well, I guess we know where the boss is now. Yeah. Uh, so discard one card randomly. All other heroes draw one card. So and we draw a card. Um, what are you doing? I'm trying. Uh, so this is behind Manny. And, and everything. I have a camera slider. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, okay, well, now I've ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've ruined everything, the whole reason we bought that. Yeah. I forgot that we had it. Literally the whole reason we bought that thing. Okay, so we discard one randomly. All I other discard. Oh, you do. Oh, cool. So I just draw. That's cool. Oh, okay but this. cool story, but the battery's dead in it. Okay, can you slide it a little bit? All back? right. I lost that card. Is that better? Thank you. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I didn't draw a card. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Oh. Shame on you, Josh. What? I got the card. Shame on you. <laughs> Inflict two shame, which is actually really good. What's everyone HP at? I'm at 12. Anne is at 21. I'm at Matt 13. Is at 13. Yeah. I took a couple turns worth of damage, so Anne's doing okay right now. All right. So, uh, Matt, it's your turn. You can go encounter the boss, or you can go... Uh... Boss time. <laughs> did you oh, add no. plus three to the boss's CP, by the oh, way? No, I did not. Uh, so, it's the Gunslinger's Grotto. Mm. Plus C three CP to the hero. Plus three CP to the boss. Oh my gosh! Spawn the fallen gunslinger. It's gunslinger versus fallen yes. gunslinger. I mean, you so fell story, earlier. Story spoilers: This is your gunslinger's mentor. <gasps> they taught you how to fall. That's why you tripped earlier. Oh, Matt, you never spawned the minion <laughs> for me. What happened? I was supposed to get a. Oh yeah, minion. sorry. You were supposed to get a minion. So let's let's take a step back there. Sorry. <laughs> the spoilers. And can you give me the? Level three baddie. Yeah. Thanks. Whoops. All right. So we've got. Oh look, the devilish imp. So he's got first strike, eleven health, and if you could set that up, he's gonna go for straights and defensive rolls on two bananas prevent three damage, and he's gonna steal CP. So Josh, he has first strikes. So he's gonna go first. Okay. So Anne, yeah. I need you to roll four dice, and you're going or five, five dice. dice, and you're going for Straight. straights. So you got a two, three, four, five. You got a one, two, three, four, five. That's large straight right off the bat. Is that a? Is I'm that in a... shadows, so. What does he do? He entangles, it... deals eight damage, and steals two CP. Entangles, steals his ugh, steals two CP. CP. But oh. you ignore the eight damage, which yep. is, I mean, that's that's pretty significant. So they're saying how that imp is cute, and he's purple. <laughs> so now, Josh. So can you give him two CP at the same time? That matters. Yeah. Well, he's at six. Oh. All right. So it's my turn. I'm gonna go up to fourteen. 
Can jog so now, on. Josh, this is a situation where you could try to flee if you want. Okay. I got so double. If you, up. Choo- you could choose to or not. It's your yeah. choice. But if you cho- if you don't flee, you skip your income phase. Oh, I'm not fleeing. <laughs> I yep. play doubled up. I draw two cards. I'm gonna then play. He's gonna explode the imp. Uh, triple up, which is draw three cards. Goodness. And Dan. Lojack, my favorite color imp. I'll name him Fred. Ask the imp for coffee. Coffee. Uh, upgrading dagger strike to a level two. Okay. It cost me zero. I mean, that's nice, but. <laughs> um, I'm selling pickpocket because I don't need it for one. Okay. And verse her mentor. Yeah, this is going to so be an epic I only battle. get two rolls. So I'm going to play Get That Out of Here, which removes a status effect. So no more Entangled. Okay. And then I'm going to roll. What did you roll? You getting uh, your Cartopia? No, I don't need a bunch of cards. <laughs> need or want? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, two shadows. You need, like, what, at least three? I need at least three. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. All right, I did get a uh, pi- pick a pocket. Pickle pocket? Uh, so I'm going to gain two CP. Okay. Uh, and one of the CP will be stolen from my opponent. Cool. And then I'm no longer in the shadows. But you didn't do any damage? No, I didn't do any damage. Great turn there, Josh. Um, so, real talk, do we want to help Josh out with the amp? I have to pull a Karate Kid. I got things to do. Yeah. So... I gotta pull an Anakin. So, I'm thinking, because we had a level 3 reward, if we if we cut the amp down. <sighs> Josh, are you planning on killing him? No, he's planning to sit there and... I'm gonna try to kill him, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go help Josh. I mean, like, is he going to run away or is he going to no, fight like, him? No, I'm going to fight you, him. Did you just move your standee to my... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's going to attack me first. So, Josh, can you have him attack me? Uh, and can I have the baddies dice? Going for straights. Dire straights. I mean, he still became Vader. Maybe Vader someday later. No, <laughs> just a small farm. So he's got four, five, six. Stop. Stop what? Don't roll those. Nope. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, fam. All right. So my turn. I'm going to gain a CP, which I really should go down to because I gave myself the CP for revealing that tile. And I should not have gotten it. Oh. So I draw a card. He didn't, but it was the first thing that I thought of, and it was not the right reference, which is why I backtracked that to Anakin. I'm going to do Kensai, (laughs) or Kensei, whatever it is. Kensei, yep. And I'm going to roll a d6. I rolled a 5, so I'm going to draw a card. That's cool. Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm doing this one. Speaking of people that never age. Uh, I'm going to play, I'm going to upgrade my Solemnity. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, so now it's going to do 2 shame and 8 damage instead of 1 shame and 7 damage. Or I can get Solemn, which is just ringing the shame bell. Okay. So, Dan. Oh, and I was supposed to gain an honor at the end of my last turn because I only used two of my rolls. So now I am attacking. Is there anything else that I wanted to do? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I'd hope if I took all my dice. You know, we can all see each other's cards, so you don't need to have them face down. Nope, I'm hiding them. I don't trust you. Okay. The I in Kensei is silent. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Kensei? Oh, two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four. Do you have a small blind? Yeah. Ability? Yeah, What is it? So my small straight, I upgraded that. It's going to be eight damage and an honor. And then I could spend two honor to deal three additional damage. That would actually be 11 damage, which would be enough to kill the imp. Yeah, so I did that. Or you can spend four swords to deal six damage. Um, no, I'm going to do the small straight, so I got Budo. 
or Budo, or whatever, however it's pronounced. Uh, so I'm going to deal 8 damage, I'm going to gain an honor, I'm going to spend both of my honor to increase it to... Well, he has to roll his defense die first. Oh, that's true, it goes uh, first. You can watch, yeah. see what he rolls. Like Sensei with a K? So what's his defense? Uh, his defense is going to be 5 dice. Just don't roll 2 bananas. 2 bananas. Okay, so it prevents 3 damage. Still going to do it. I'm going to spend 2 honor. And then I'm also going to do Gishi. So I'm going to spend a CP for that. And then it is going to roll a D6. Maddie wants to see boss wipe group turn one. So I add two damage to that. <laughs> so I do 8, 10, 12, 13. Uh, and you prevent Barbarian is my favorite table ready. Hands down, favorite hero. Uh, in the... DTA, I actually just enjoy playing any of the heroes in Dice Run Adventures. It's all, I actually really enjoy them all. Can anyone give me plus one damage? He's yep. got one health. I can't give you my revolver, I would. Okay, he's got one health. So Manny, as you work on season three heroes, are you thinking about how they're going to work in DTA? In of course, of, yep. I, I, like, make them different, kind of? No, I mean, it's not that they would be different per se. It's just we want to make sure that they're useful or applicable. Yeah. I know some people have requested things like, I want to be a medic. And I'm like, well, it doesn't work in the dueling game. <laughs> and the hero needs to work in dueling as well as in in Dice Run Adventures. So yeah. That's a design now, challenge. does that mean we could give, we, we could probably give a hero, um, like the Treant has abilities, he has Wellspring. So he can give Wellspring to heroes to let them heal. Are you going to help beat up the imp, or are you going for the boss? I think I'm going for the boss. Okay. Yeah. You sure? No. So what's your CP at? One. What's yours at, Josh? Uh, 13. Okay, so you should probably go for the boss because you get plus three CP in. Okay. All right. Metagaming it a little bit there. So you gain plus three CP, and now we're going to spawn the Fallen Gunslinger. Okay, so you'll want to clean the board off a little bit at the table middle area. I mean, mainly because you guys are using the center for your camera. So you could set the minions to the side, all the boards, tiles to the side. Because yeah, we know we're not getting any more minions. Yep. Oh, wait, yep. do we still have our, our battle with the imp going on, or does it just end? Yes. Oh, okay. Nope, that person, you're engaged with that imp, so you're going to have to flee or defeat him. You're engaged to the imp. Yes, you are. Tyrion. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't touch it. So I mean it's just one health, that's fine. Okay, and now So you wanna grab the the fallen gunslinger's board. It's behind you on the white couch. Oh. There you go. And uh you should have uh you should divide his deck into upgrades and action cards. So one of you can do that. Okay. Alright, I don't know Josh, do you have the deck? Yeah, I, I market it now. And you can give the board a little tweak in the opposite direction to the fold. That'll help it fold, lay a little flatter. Just, They're just brand new out of the factory. The way they... I think it'd be better if you stood it up, man. You want to stand up. Yeah. But this car's going to go on top of it, Matt. Oh. Yeah, oh, are. yeah, that's right. Okay, so now you're going to take the action, the action cards, set them aside. Those will get shuffled separately. And you're going to take the upgrades and shuffle those. One of you can man the boss's CP, and the other will uh, draw the upgrade cards. All right, so Matt, draw, you're going to draw upgrade cards, and I'm going to reduce the CP How for many? each upgrade. Uh, till we run out of CP from the upgrade. Okay. Yep. So that is, we got hot shot, so that's two CP. Yep. And can you put that on so goes. the first one? Then we've got... Hot shot three. That's two more CP because we stack upgraded. Correct. Them, right? Okay. Yep. All right. So, how much CP does he have, Josh? Uh, he's got thirty left. Thirty still. Yep. Oh. Two CP for magic bullet two. Then we've got four CP for magic bullet three. Did you not shuffle these? I shuffled them. <laughs> so um, you sell 
you sell the the level two. Yeah. All right. So then void shot. That's two CP. That's passive ability. Okay. Then we've got coffin hunter two, two CP. Then we've got gun down, which is the small straight ability. That's four CP. What are we at, Josh? Uh, twenty. All right. Gun down two. That's two CP, so we can't downgrade. So you sell. Okay. So we get two. So he gains a CP. Ugh. Are you just one or two? Just one. Okay. Anytime. Just like selling is normal. King's one. Bounty two. That's two CP. Coffin Hunter three. So is there already an upgrade on Coffin Hunter in? Uh, yes. All right. Yes. So, so that's going to be the di the difference. So the a difference two. is two. Okay. Josh, what are we at? Uh, 17. Okay, he's just going to get everything. Uh, so two CP for Death Wager 2. Uh, we got King's Bounty 3. That's four CP. But... The difference is two. Okay. We've got Death Wager 3. It's four CP. What's the difference? The difference is two. Okay. Then we've got Quicken 3. This is 4 CP. We don't have anything there yet. Well, there's Quicken 2. So we're just selling that one so he gets a CP. Okay. This is Turbo. Okay. So he is fully upgraded. Now you're going to take his action deck and set it next to the board. All righty. Okay. And he should still have his CP yeah. dial oh, and his health dial. Yeah. And his health dial is set to 70. Can you reach that, Matt? Yeah. Why don't we want to zoom in on it, then? Because there's more than just him. This is the health dial? Yep. Give me something you're not using. Put it on, t on the front of his board. I'm not going to be able to reach that constantly. So if you I could, could just give it to me here, and I could put it in this view every once in a while. That's 70 health. That's a lot. And that's the remaining CP. Cool. 70 is a lot. Yeah. Okay, so Anne, you get your turn just like normal. You go get your CP, draw your card, and you attack the boss. And then Matt <sighs> will roll four of the boss, his defense, and then when it's his, the boss's turn, he's going to gain a CP and draw one card, and then you're going to do what that card says. Okay. This turbo. Okay, normal turn. So my CP goes up from four to five. My reload is full, so I can't get another. And Oh, I... I'm sorry. Let's back up just a second. You guys found the boss, and so you're choosing to fight. So now you can all choose to spend your salves if you want. Oh, yeah. And, and then you heal D6, and you get one reroll. Oh, but you all have to agree to do it together to get the reroll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got a five. I'm keeping that. I rolled a three. So what is that? I get three. Yep. You get three health. Okay. You can reroll though. Two. No, we all have to reroll, right? Together. No, 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 no. Anyone can choose to reroll. Oh, uh, I'm I'm definitely rolling that. I rolled a two. I'm gonna reroll the low yeah. average three. It's three and a half. Yeah. Have chat roll my d6, please and thank you. I rolled a four. That's a that's a positive. So I'm at seventeen health. Josh, what are you at? Uh, I'm at seventeen as well. Yeah, 17 buddies. And Anne has a three. I'm okay with this. What did you roll the first time? Two. Three is more than two. Yes, it is. All right, so take your normal turn. Uh, okay, so my CP is at five. My reload is at max. I draw a card. You have poison, so you're going to take a damage. That's right. But now you can transfer that poison over to... Uh... Your buddy there. I sure can. <laughs> uh, I'm going <laughs> to play that one right now. Uh, so getting paid. Gain two CP. So my CP is at seven. And then I'm going to play that one. Around. Oh, this is a promo card. That's cool. <laughs> I don't have any that allow me to draw more cards, though. Transfer now is your best friend. Yeah, okay, so we're doing transference, definitely. Okay, so you're putting the poison on the bouse. And that's 2 CP, so that takes me down to 5 CP, and then that poison can go right away. Did you want to put the dodge token on the boss? 
Uh, no, I didn't think that I did. I'm going to spend another CP. Poison this hat. And I'm going to upgrade my Bounty Hunter to Bounty Hunter 2. Okay. So that is, we'll deal two undefendable damage on top of inflicting Bounty. Why do some upgrades have a star next to their name? I didn't see any. Uh, the stars were a holdover from a different um, thing we were doing. They haven't been removed from the cards. They're not applicable anymore. Okay. Um, um, and yeah, you'll need to give the boss his uh, King's Hand tokens. On the card, it'll say two plus one per player, so five total. Uh, okay. And we'll, we'll go through those on the second after you take your turn, Anne. Okay, so that is all of my cards. Oh, this is the main phase action. Yep. Okay, so, and it's zero CP, so I'm going to do that too. Run and gun. Okay, so roll a d6. That definitely is his promo card, so I'm totally screaming that out. Uh, mm. Have chat roll my d6, please and thank you. All right, so chat, let's see what you do for Anne. So you want a d6 here. Or a six here. Obviously a D six, but you want a six. You want a bullseye. I would like a six on That's the a D. two. So draw a card, Anne. Okay. Uh oh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. So that's revolver two. Alright, so this is your bullet one. And Correct. On four of a kind, inflict knockdown. That's it has to be on numbers though. Yeah. Well, it's going for symbols anyways. It, it's four, four ones, numbers four of a twos, kind. Well, yeah, because that card specifically only it works for bullets. But so they would be the same kind anyways. No, it's you have one, two, and threes as bullets. After yeah, I know. I'm just, obviously, it would be for the numbers because if it's for the symbols, that one requires all the same symbol anyways. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Do you feel bad? <laughs> just stack the, the boss. What? Stack the boss. Huh? Uh, so now I'm going to do my offensive. Phase. That's offensive, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, eh. that's one die. All right. So you rolled your three de- oh no, that's two. Two, straight. two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's a large straight right there. So what do you get for your large straight, Anne? Uh, for my large straight, it is fan the hammer. I gain two evasive tokens and deal seven damage. Uh, so I'm like only going to get one evasive token. I'm definitely doing that. I'm also going to do my revolver. <laughs> okay. My reload. You can do it twice. I am. Could you please ask Chad if they would roll me a d6? Are you going to do both of them, or are you going to do one of them? Oh, I'm going to do both of them. Okay. So that way we don't do two successive rolls. Um, and does he have a defensive ability? I'm sure he, he does. He sure does. It's the I can't quick read it one, and there. it's a card. You can pull it. <laughs> And it's going to be invisible. They're all a six and a five. That's good. So that's six to more damage that you're doing. Three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So quick in three. Defense, roll one die. It's going to deal three damage. Uh, then you and your attacker each roll a die. And if your roll is equal to or greater, prevent half the damage rounded up. So, and roll a die. I rolled a two. I rolled a five. You're fine. But you still take three damage. That's poopy. Uh, I'm going to add these Use two. That's pretty crazy, though, that it's like a default three damage that he does to you whenever you deal damage to him. I, d I hear... Okay, thank you. <laughs> Could you please... I like how you... No, you have to... You have to... You have to... You two are so lazy. <laughs> And you have evasion tokens if you like to try to use them. Too. Yes, I heard you. And I don't think that I want to use them right now. I have 20 health. I'm fine. I'd like to add these two additional attack modifiers to it. To the two plus twos? Yep. Correct. All right. So you did seven plus six plus four. Mm -hmm. So that's 17. 17 damage. All right. But remember, you can't Good get job. any. You can't Thank gain you. any more evasion tokens. So I okay. Just... So now the boss's turn. He's going to go through an upkeep where he takes the damage from poison. Okay. So he's at okay. 50. And then he's going to gain a CP and draw a card. All right. So is the 52 with the poison? Yes. Yeah. Gain a CP. So he draws a card. I don't have his deck. Cards are right there on the table next to us. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so he's, so he's going to eat lead. 
Okay, so now you'll notice on the bottom of the card, it tells you the AI roll objective. Ah, okay. So that's what I'm shooting for. Heh, <laughs> pun. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. I can use my evasive. And because of the attack modifier, you could totally use your evasive, but you'll wait until he attacks you first. Okay. You got it. Okay, so he nailed it, so now he's going to do that ability. All right, so I got to see what this ability is. Roll. It is the King's Bounty. Uh, so he is going to inflict knockdown, and he's going to put Bounty on Anne. And, yeah, just Anne, because you're the only engaged player. Then deal five in undefendable damage. So Anne, you're going to take five damage. Plus. So he also has Bounty, so that becomes six. Okay. And then on top of that... Then he... Yep. He has a passive. So this gets added to the die yeah, I just roll rolled. Roll five more dice and then... Oh, it's five more dice. Yep, so eat lead. Yep. So he'll spend one CP to actually do the eat lead. Oh, okay. So he spends a CP for change that. Change his dice. Can I change his dice? You can. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a card that lets you, you change his dice? He still or has... You uh, use your does evasion, he still have any it's, rolls it's, it's just undodgeable. It's not... You can't... You can still use your... I would get knocked down in bounty. You can still use your. Oh, that's up to you. So you're using your twice as wild? Yeah. Ugh. All right. You sure you want to use the twice as wild for this one? It's the only thing I have. Same as is my dice. I mean, maybe someone else can help. I can't. I don't have anything that does anything better. Okay. So. Uh. Evasive first, but if I get so, the evasive, then I get the knockdown and the bounty. Yep. So, and if you if you change his dice and you make force him to fail his turn, he will spend the king's hand token, roll a die on a five or six. He gets to take another turn. <laughs> so you probably want to die. Another offensive roll phase. Yeah. But then I could I could evade that one. Yeah, well, so, potentially yes. Whatever that attack is. So I'd want to, tr I want to fail it if she first. Ev but if she evades first, he still doesn't take another turn, right? That's only if he fails Correct. his rolls. Correct. Yeah. yeah. If you if you ch cause him to fail his turn. And he has a finite number of king's hand tokens. Yep. Yes. So he can spend one per turn, but he has five total. So I'd want to do that first. Okay. Okay. Because so. like, I'd want him to because if he has to take the second turn to hit me. Then he's got to spend the king's hand token, and then I'm I'd be using the evades of either way. Or you can save this for an attack. Is my thought process here? Potentially your ultimate attack. Oh no, I'm expecting you two to come back here and do something like you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah it's gonna take a while though because he's still got 52 health. Yeah. But that's fine if you want to do it this way. Uh, so you spend three CP. Their chat says save it for the ults. <laughs> mm, typically, that is that is what you would do, but it is your choice. Yeah, that's fine. Is it her choice, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's your guys' choice as a group. Do what you want. So, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, they're saying you need to hit big and hard, and the ultimates is okay. pro strat. So, you're going to want to spend your evasion token now. So, okay. so first, you got to determine how much damage, right? Yeah. So, it's the five, six with bounty, roll the five dice to add more damage. Add two damage to that. So that's now you're up to eight. And then he has his passive says he gets two reloads. Whenever activating an attack, gain and spend two reloads. He's gonna roll two D6. I'll have chat do that. Let chat beat you up a little bit in. Uh, and it's gonna be half the value rounded up added to that. So let's see what we get here. And five and two. So that's going to be a three and a one. It's so four. four damage. So that's 12 in total? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> 12 undefendable. So now you'd have to use spin your evasives. Okay. You had three, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. So that's a two, so it dodges. Yep. So yep. I get. You take no damage. Keep your SP. Did you spend your SP for that wild card? No. And uh, the gun gunslinger would have gotten one CP from Bounty. Okay. Okay. So he's at nine CP. And she's knocked down. But she'll yep. get up again. And she's knocked down. Yep. And Never going to get her down. Get it? 
Oh, no, this is the boss. Why are you giving me these? Um, oh, boy. Okay. So, Josh, it's your turn. Oh, no. It's the imp's turn. Imp's going to beat you up. Yeah, go ahead and roll for the imp. How many? Five dice. Five. You're, going, you're going for a straight. Okay. I don't think you own those tokens anymore. <laughs> uh, so you rolled a two, four, five. So he keeps the four and the five. Yeah. One, you got a three. So you just don't want a two or a six here. Three, three and a five. And five. Nothing yeah. happens. All right, so Josh, you have to do one damage to him. Okay. L five dice. Pretty impressive. No. <laughs> and gets locked down, but she'll be up again. Yeah. Never going to keep me down. You going for your cardtopia there, Josh? Why are you getting cards? Are you really? I'm no, he's not. going for cards. <laughs> <laughs> but I have like a really poopy roll. Is that the only way you could do damage is rolling sixes? No. Because that's the only thing you seem to be going for. Uh huh. <laughs> so what are you going to do with that roll? Um, I gained two CP. But first, I'm going to spend... <laughs> How much damage do you do? I'll spend the two CP to do poison wound. And I am poisoning the boss. Can you? You're not there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Flick poison on any chosen player. I'm choosing the boss. So you didn't kill this imp. And then I gained two... S I'm going to gain two back. And then I didn't kill him. Can I do anything to kill him? You couldn't do one damage, Josh. Nope. He wanted to go for the sixes. Yeah. Nope. Because he would be like, look at how much I killed him by. <laughs> 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 All right, so I guess I'll go for the imp again. You killed him by negative one point. And now Matt can't help me with the boss. <laughs> so, Josh, roll for the imp, please. Uh, yeah, he's going to have it kill me now. One, two. Oh, boy. Oh. Could you? I can't see. What? Could uh, you put the three, four. The you got a small straight map. Uh, I Sorry. really, I don't like you, Josh. Would you please put the imp card in the thing? Yeah. So Thank he you. got a small straight. So it's gonna entangle me. And deal seven damage. You're. Do you get to defend against it though? Don't. Yeah, you? I still get to defend against it, but still. Seven damage is quite significant. Um. So I'm gonna roll three dice. All right, so I rolled all of these dudes. So I prevent three damage. So you take how much? Four. All right. So that goes there. I get entangled. So can you please give me an entangled token? <laughs> now you're not only engaged to the imp, but also entangled to him. So I only get to roll twice now. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so I rolled that. I think that's something right off the bat. It's three swords and two of the hats? It's not. It's almost a solemnity, but it's not. So I'm going to re-roll. Oh, I have a small straight. He's just trying to give you a cute little purple hug, and you just don't want to love him. So, Matt, what? If you, I mean, you can try one roll, but then if you save it, you get your honor, right? I can only do two rolls anyways. So if you don't use, you get an honor, and you kill him, right? You only get one health? Or if I use it, I still get my honor because oh, it's I less than three. Oh, is it just less than three? Two is less than three, yeah. I was sure the 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 Yeah, that. it's it's not the maximum. It's that you, you get, as long as you do roll less than three times. The purple imp is now the twist mascot. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to gain an honor token, and then I'm going to deal eight damage to him. Uh, it doesn't matter if he rolls his dice, because he can only prevent three damage, so I kill him. Okay. So we're all going to get a level three treasure now, which is good. Roll big, roll big, roll big. Roll big. That's not big. That's, that's called karma. <laughs> I rolled a 13. All right. So, oh, I also didn't take my CP and draw a card because I was just super excited to kill the imp. Uh, they rolled a five. Manny, they said you've come out of the shadows. Mm. They rolled a five? Yep. All right. Oh, so, Josh. I think you're muted. Josh rolled a one. It there was you. getting dark outside, so I had to turn the light on. <laughs> so, Josh, you gain a plus two damage token. Yeah. Uh, five, and you get two CP. Uh, that's cool. I rolled a 13, so we get three gold. You're welcome, guys. I said you're welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. 
<laughs> Alright, so Anne, it is your turn. Yep. I'm gonna die. Wouldn't it have been great if you could have had people there to help you? You know what? Now I kind of want to see those three guys playing <laughs> Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Uh, that would be fun. Let's see. Uh, so I get a CP for the income phase. Yes, I am. And I also get a reload. And I get a curd. Oh! A curd? Oh! Look at that one. What's a curd? A curd. What That's a curd. Put a curd in camera. Oh, a card. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Select one of your opponent's dice and force them to reroll it. I like it a lot. All right, so you need to spend two CP to get back up. Chat saying you are not going to die. Remember the evade. I do have two more evade. Um, I don't want to spend... You don't want to stand up. You, you want to just, just have there. them shoot you? Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I spent two CP to get rid of the knockdown. Okay. So I still have bounty on me. Manny, uh, Chad's asking, how long do a boss fight typically take? Um, I mean, it's it's a four-player free-for-all, basically. So, I mean, a boss fight could take 30 minutes to an hour. Seraphine says, cheese curds. It's state fair season. Seraphine. All right, Ant, let's attack. Yeah, and also player count as well. Do if you're you playing think I should... two-player, the boss doesn't last as long. Do you think I should go for all sixes? Yeah, go for it. You got one six. You got two sixes. I sure did. So, Anne, if you get four sixes, if you get three sixes, then you could use your card and you can get five sixes. Yeah. FYI. Oh, that's another six. I mean, you didn't get it there, but you can spend your double wild now, and you can trigger your ultimate. Okay. Twice as Aren't you glad you saved it? No. <laughs> Take it. So <laughs> twice as wild. Change the value of any two dice. She's going to change the two of her sixes to ones? Yes. <laughs> no, she's going to change them to sixes. I'm going to change all three of my sixes to it's ones. Up. I'm going to spend my... So what does your ultimate do, Anne? So first Sorry. thing that happens is before your ultimate... You have to spend a king's hand token, and he tries to helping hand you. So anytime a player hits an ultimate, the boss will try to cheat. So, how about so now he's going to roll a die, and on a five or six, he cheats, and he makes you re-roll one of your sixes. <gasps> That's rotten! <laughs> All right, so they roll a <laughs> four! Yes! So you didn't cheat. There you go. Loser. So now your ultimate happens. So my ultimate, I'm going to gain an evasive. Okay, so you're back up to three. I'm going to do to him what he did to me by inflicting both knockdown and bounty. That's pretty good. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to deal ten damage. Okay. And since I'm... Is it undefendable damage or anything? No. Okay. And then since... The ultimate oh, is always undefended. Oh! Yeah, the ultimate cannot that. be prevented, mitigated, defended against, prevented in any way, shape, or form. So then on top of that, because I'm spending a reload, I may re-roll that die one time. Could you roll... Uh, would you please be so kind as to ask chat to roll a d6? Okay. So chat, go ahead and roll a d6. And Be a six. that's your uh, reload that you're adding ad in addition to your 10. Correct. Right? Okay. So, five would be good here. How about a six? Six is perfect. I don't even need that reroll. So, 13 damage? Nope. And then the bounty as well, so it's 14. Yeah, that's right. 14 to CP. Yes. All right. So and do you have any damage modifier tokens? I do not. Yeah. I used them all last time. FYI, he's at 38 health. Yeah, so if you okay. two could come over and help me. Yep. I was trying to. All right, uh, now it's his turn to go. Yeah. Okay, now he draws a card, gains a CP. All right. So he has to spend two CP here, though, because he was knocked down. He will for sure spend two CP, yes. Okay. And he takes two poison from his upkeep. Oh, cool. Uh, so he's now at 36 health. And now he is going to do Eat Lead 2. So he is going to roll for that. 
So he just did eat lead two before. Now he's gonna do eat lead two. Matt, wrong dice. Yeah, I mean. Oh. All right. Okay. So he rolled. Oof. Okay, so he's gonna keep the two scratchy scratchies, and he's gonna try for the two flaming dice now. He's got one of them. No, stop, Matt. Heart of the cards. Stop, Matt. Heart of the dice. Yes. No, you're done rolling. Two bananas. I was just putting them over here. Okay, so notes. now you check to see if he has activated any ability on the board. By failing the roll type objective, it doesn't mean his turn fails. You just now check on the board to see if he hit anything. Wimpy. Actually, I don't think he did. Okay. Gonna sit here so now he's going to spend a cheat token. Yeah, he didn't. Can he only spend one a turn, though? He can spend one per turn. This is his turn. Oh, uh, his turn. Okay. So the one that... So, you know, so he spends one. He rolls a die on a five or six. He cheats and takes another offensive roll phase. That's he rolls four. So he doesn't. He failed his cheat. And he doesn't even do his attack modifier here because he didn't actually hit. Nope, he would just sell it then during his second main phase. And you got this all by yourself. It's fine. You're good. The student. So now, uh, fun fun side note. On uh, level one, they cheat on a 5-6. Level two, they cheat on a 4-5-6. Level three, they cheat on a 3-4-5-6. And the Mad King cheats on a 2-6. Oh. All right, Matt, move me over. Oh, are you finally joining the fray? Yeah. Oh, I, I get it. I get one. I get this. Ooh. 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 So comes... just FYI, I'm going to have to leave shortly. I'm already about a half hour past when I was planning to be done. Oh. So. Sounds good. No problem, Manny. I got one. He's going for just the sixes again. FYI. You got two. I don't Is that something? Oh, he's he's got a small straight. Do you want to make a uh, quick little Irish goodbye while Josh is trying to roll his ultimates? <laughs> I want to see if he hits his ultimate. Okay. All right. So I don't have my ultimate right now, but I'm going to spend uh, four CP. Yeah. Uh, I got twice as wild. Boom. Boom. And I got to six it. <laughs> Okay, so he spent he he got his ultimate. I got my ultimate by spending nice. money. Perfect. Uh, okay, so now he cheats to see if he's gonna force you to fail that ultimate. Josh, kidding. Two. No, two. No. Uh, so I'm gonna nope. gain. So he spent three CP. Did he spend that king's hand token to do that cheat? Yep. He so would now, have. Yes. Yeah. So, so he should he's... only have two now. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do uh, nineteen. Okay. Twenty. Twenty-two. Uh, 24 damage. Please nice. and thank you. Okay. Finally. He's at 12 health. And I'm okay. in the shadows. Can, ooh, what did that say? Uh, could you bring up the chat? It just faded. So in the shadows, uh, that means that he can't damage you, but he can still hit you with effects, right? Uh, they're asking if you could steal the tokens away from the boss. The cheat tokens. You cannot. They are considered unique tokens. They're uh, non transferable or removable in any way, shape, or form. I steal the cheat tokens. Uh, you, you would add, add one more for bounty as well, yes. Oh, that's right. Oh, cool. And gain a CP, which means it would have increased the damage yep. by one, probably. So two more damage. Cool. So he's at 10 health. Perfect. That's a lot. All right. Okay. So now he's going to attack you, Josh. So, he's... so he takes his poison. Yep. Oh, yeah, he's going to take yep. two damage from poison. So he's not the eight. Okay. Doop, boop, boop. Eight health. Doop, doop, doop. And he gains a CP. So he's at nine. And he's going to reload two, so he's going to roll for that. And when you spend a reload, if the outcome is one to two, re-roll that die one time, then add one damage to each re-roll. Cool. He's chasing the same roll type. Okay, let's go for... So they're not all that roll type. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't hit it, but he hit four slashy slashies, which means that he got hot shot three, and he's going to deal eight damage to you, Josh, and because two of a kind inflicts knockdown... Two ones. He has two ones, so you got you get a knockdown, Josh. All right, so yeah, I just but get... no knocked. damage, so... I don't take any damage because I'm in the shadows. Yeah, and so I'm not going to bother with the... Reloads because he can't do any damage to you, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Going down faster than I've seen before. Must be because of Anne's body count. Boom. 
All right, so I guess I'll jump over. You guys are dealing lots of damage. It's good. Go over there now. (laughs) Be like, hey guys, knock down in the shadows. Matt, can you Mm -hmm. do eight damage to him? Uh, probably. Uh, Actually, you just need to do six damage to him. Yeah. Okay. Confirmed. Anne's officially OP. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I got this. I got this. Just go to your. Go for your ultimate. If I had the stuff to actually let me. Get. Go for your ultimate, man. Uh, I rolled a whole bunch of swords. I can deal six damage with that. <laughs> I mean, it's not as flashy. It's not. It's seven two. with bounty, so that's not bad. But we need one more. I got another sword, so that's going to deal seven damage. And then two poison. And I'm also going to spend... Well, he's got his defense, too. So he could still defend. Uh, he, your damage was it was your ultimate, so he couldn't yeah. defend against it. Yep. So they are asking, do you have any honor left? And you have two, yep, right? I have two honor, but I'm gonna check his defense first, right? I could check that first. Yeah, I think so. Yep. So <laughs> so you duel. <laughs> Anne is really the Mad King we have to beat. Uh, so Josh, go ahead and roll one. Uh, four. That's, you can do it. Six. Bam. Yeah. He's gonna deal three damage to me, but I don't care. And I'm going to spend nope. my two honor on top of that, so it deals three additional damage. So I'm going to deal ten damage to him, and he did. There you go. What does it sound like when he's dead? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to walk you guys through the loot real quick, and then I got to head out. But... Okay, perfect. Thank you, Manny, so much for hanging around. We really appreciate it. Yeah. So you're going to look at the bottom of the level card, and there's a win condition. Joshua. All right. So I got the level card here. And upon victory, upon victory, gain 15 gold. Oh, wow. And then we're going yep. shopping. Yay. Yep. 56 gold. Wow. Okay. So now, so you got, you got the gold and then you're going to go to, what I would recommend right now is just, you could put away your cards off your board. Re- put, just put your deck away. Including those loot ones or no, no, right? Uh, no, those are yet to be, those are part of the shopping phase. Just leave those face down for the moment. Okay. Okay. And so then you're going to take the level one loot cards, Did they upgrade? the green, and everyone's going to get dealt four cards of green. Okay. And one blue. Now these cards you can look at. This is, this is basically your shopping. This is, she's, she's saying, Hey, you can shop from this list. So you each get five cards. Ooh. So, um, you'll notice on her leaflet by the deck, there it'll tell you the price. So it's ten for a green, fifteen for a blue, and it's five to identify. So those loot cards that you collected that are unidentified, you can now identify them for five gold each. Ah. And identifying means you flip them over, you know what they are, and they go into your deck. Okay. Okay. I'm... So now you could choose not to. Let's say you drew a bunch of great cards and you're like, man, I like this this hand of cards better than the unknown. You could choose not to identify them. If you do, you just put them back in the, the, the respective loot decks. But it's... at five gold a piece, it's hard not to want to take those. It's an either or you can get both. Uh, you can get all of them. You can, you can buy as many. Gold. You can reveal all of them if you want. So it's a matter of how much gold you're willing to spend. Yes. So you'll also notice you guys all spent your salves. So that means next time you play the next scenario, yeah. you don't have any healing salves. So you're going to have to spend 10 to buy them. Gotcha. And you can have a stack limit of two. Cool. And five is per card, or it's for everything to identify? Each, each card. So I don't know how many you have currently. I, I have two, so it cost me ten to. I also out these. have two. I have yeah. three. I mean, one of Anne's is mm. orange legendary, so you know. Yeah, there's that. Yep. So probably, I mean, if I, I mean, I would probably identify them all because it's you guys got plenty of gold. Yep. So ten, twenty. No, we each have sixty gold. Anne. We each have sixty. Oh, we each have sixty. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Sixty or fifty-six. So you round up to. The nearest ten. You round up to the nearest nearest five. five. Oh, okay. All righty. So just getting that one extra gold. 
got us four more gold. That's pretty good. Yep. And you could use your health dial if you want just to keep track of your own yep. gold. That's a great idea. Um, so then what you do is <clears throat> you're going to identify those. Now you can buy the cards in your deck or the, that she dealt you. Okay. So they cost 10 for the green, 15 for the blue, and then you can buy healing salves and you can own, you can have two if you want. You can buy up to two. What happens with the player upgrades that we got? Do they go away and we have to re-get them? Yeah, so every time you start a new session, it's like starting a new game of Dice Throne. So you shuffle your deck, you start at 2 CP. Um, but you keep whatever cards you upgraded your deck with. Correct. All right, yeah. so... The loot cards go into your deck. Uh, same name cards replace the card in the deck. You can only ever have one of a name type. Like, not this time. You might find a loot card that's an upgraded not this time. You can't then have two in your deck. You only okay. have one. And I'm curious, what's your legendary? So these are what the two cards that I found. So Josh got the golden crown. When re-rolling a treasure die, you may choose to re-roll it once. It's pretty nice. There you go. And then triple up, draw three cards. So how does equipment work, costs... Manny? So you'll notice it costs less. Triple up there. Yeah. <laughs> it costs one CP now. Uh, uh, equipment. All heroes have two equipment slots. So it goes into your deck. You have to draw it, pay for it, and then you can set it next to your board. Okay. And that equipment is always on. So the effect is always there. <clears throat> nice. And what was your legendary? I'm super the curious. The legendary or the blue? The, is the, that's orange, but that's yeah. the blue one. I want the orange one. I'd have to... I, I don't... Just, I didn't pull an orange one. I have to identify them. Yeah, spend the gold to identify it. <laughs> All right. So you got the not this time four... So it's one CP, and chosen player prevents nine incoming damage. Yeah, that's happening. Yes. That's a good card. All righty. Uh, Did you get so any cool uh, cards? I, I got the angelic boots, which actually give me flight. They have a chance to give you flight. Okay. Yeah. So now, basically, you're going to put these in your deck. The one good thing to know is that loot cards do not cause deck bloat. So if you pull a loot card at any time, you can discard it and draw a new card. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. That's so, and the biggest your deck can be is 50 cards total. So, you could have 50 cards and it doesn't create a deck bloat problem. That's very cool. So, there you go. Manny, thank you so much for uh, taking the time tonight. I know we kept you a little later than you were anticipating, but we really, truly yep. appreciate you hanging out. We had a great time. Yeah. Again, yeah, no problem. Thank you, Team Gunslinger, for helping me carry the yes. team. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I killed the boss. <laughs> I think I did Show the most last, boss. last hit counts. Remember? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. Whoa, Lord of Ring fun. rules. Thanks. Appreciate Benny. it. Thanks, Benny. Thank you so much, and thank yep. all of you for watching at home. This is going to conclude our spotlight session here of Dice Throne cool. Adventures live on Kickstarter. Now, go check it out. Josh is going to put the link in chat in just a moment. Uh, but we're going to be signing off right now. Make sure that you are joining us for all of our upcoming streams. Uh, so, and then, huh? Matt's just forgetting things. I know. I was getting to that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, make sure you join us for all of our upcoming streams. We're going to be back in just a few moments here with our first impression session where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, anything we would do uh, to improve it on a personal level, and then the most important question of the evening of would we play this game again. Uh, with that, we would like to thank Dice Throne Adventures for sponsoring this stream and all of this week's streams. For those of you that are watching on video on demand, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel where... Sometimes we fight really big baddies and Anne has to save the princes. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, and uh, all of you, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I think that's going to conclude the spotlight session for tonight. Yeah. So as usual, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. Have a good one, everyone. Good night.